personal. This ain't even business. This personal. So, Ver, you know what I'm saying? Take it personal, my nigga. If you feel some type of way, do what you do. I'm not here to play with no motherfucking artists. I ain't here for none of that shit. It's all with the nigga here, man. Welcome to URL's Battle Rap Arena with Hip Hop Psycho, Jesse Regan, and we got Nate from Straight Stunting Magazine, and we're trying to get Norbs on right now. What's good, guys? Yep. Yo, what up, What up, man? Nate? What's good, y'all? Chilling, chilling, man. Um, you know, this this whole Ebro situation came out. Um, I I mean, like, go, go ahead, Nate. Explain the whole story, and then we'll, we'll get into it, the, the Ebro situation. Well... Um, the Ebro situation started on Friday. I reached out to him and was actually talking to him about Hollow the Dawn and Surf because, as we all know, everybody pretty much in the culture follows, in the hip, you know what I'm saying, within the hip-hop culture and even beyond that, you know what I'm saying, basketballs, entertainers, sports, you know what I'm saying, um, people in high places, um, they follow the sport and the culture of battle rap, you know what I'm saying, so... I reached out to him to speak to him about the biggest battle of them all with, um, for this week, you know what I'm saying, from the biggest um, event of the year, which was Gnome 3. So they dropped Hollow the Dawn versus Sue Surf on Thursday. And the following day, you know, after the numbers came in and all that, um, from I mean, the responses came in from the people on Twitter, Facebook groups, all that type of stuff, people doing their reviews and stuff. So I was like, yo, let me, you know what I'm saying, let me holler at Ebro and see what's up, you know what I mean, see if he, you know, he got a chance to check it out, because a lot of people, were, you know, were debating about it, Drake was debating about it with Kevin Durant, so I'm like, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, I see him on there a lot, and, um, you know, he's, he's probably one of the more powerful people in um, in hip-hop in New York City, or maybe some may argue on the East Coast, because he's in the largest, mar he, he, he's on the biggest radio station in, in the largest market on this side of the, of the map. You know what I'm saying? So a person with that influence, I'm like, you know, like, what's up, man? You know, what you think about the battle? And he writes back to me that it is boring and childish. Battle rap is boring and childish. But he also followed it up by making tweets about, I mean, you know, he wrote me explaining that. He respects the lyricism and or whatever, but it just lacked, you know, some of the things that it lacked in his opinion. You know what I'm saying? The entertainment value in terms of, you know, because he's in the music, you know, he's in the radio business, so he's more concerned with and in tune with what goes on on the radio. So I guess because it doesn't have a beat to it, you know what I'm saying? He really wasn't in tune with the culture. It's more like of a subculture to him, but in its entirety, hip-hop embodies all things. You know what I'm saying? And MCing is one of the five elements. You know what I'm saying? And Battling at this point of the game is the purest form of the culture. And anybody in his position should have their eyes and ears on everything moving in his, within this culture. So I felt like he just missed the spot, and I needed to make sure that I opened his eyes to that. And not only by doing that, I also opened up the floodgates, you know what I'm saying, with the fans 
um, retweeting it. And then you know how that goes, man. It's a domino effect. One person, two, three, four, five people retweet it, and then it's opening up more people. It's like, yeah, what the hell? You know, so they seen the responses, and they just went, they just went ham, and then Norbs retweeted it, different ones, and then, you know what I'm saying, Norbs jumped in, uh, 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 you know, Norbs jumped in it with me. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of the fans were upset, and, and, and rightfully so, because, you know, this is this is the culture that they love and cherish. You know what I'm saying? They're so passionate about. That's the reason why, you know, that battle did in two days uh, over a quarter million views, which he was mm-hmm. made quite aware of that because he's a man about numbers. You know what I'm saying? He deals with numbers. He's at 97. So they're in competition with Power 105. You know what I'm saying? And they deal with numbers on that station. So over there, they 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 more than aware of what numbers is. So I, I gave him a, you know what I'm saying? I gave him that and, you know, so I, I knew he understood what he he would have had to understand what it was about in terms of how powerful this movement and this culture is because it's not about now what they realized is and Jay Z proved it with this whole new rules movement Revolt TV is proving it with this new rules movement and everybody's jumping on that but what they realized and now is is that the new rules is is that it's about cultural influence it's not about it's not about record sales anymore. And the reason why they say it's not about record sales is because no one's selling records. So it's about cultural influence. And what Jay-Z did was he gave away a million albums on the Magna Carta Holy Grail through the app that the first million people downloaded through the Samsung Galaxy that they would get, the first million of them would get the album for free. So he knew the losses that would be taken through pirating his music. He was, he, you know what I'm saying? They, it's bigger than that. They understand this to be a lot bigger than the pirating music. You know what I'm saying? So they got their check, dog. Like, that was paid for before. They got their deposit before that. You know what I'm saying? So by the time we saw the commercials, Samsung had already made their investment in the, in the quote-unquote lost albums that Jay-Z was willing to sacrifice, giving the album away to to only a million people that downloaded the app and then the multi-millions of people that those people would give the zip files to. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I got it. You know what I'm saying? I got somebody sent it to me through my email. I'm assuming y'all got it the same way. It was all over the Internet. You know what I'm saying? People listening to it, downloading it, passing it off to this one, that one. You know what I'm saying? But the check was already in the mail. You know what I'm saying? You know. But regardless, the point is, is that it's about cultural influence, and that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? He proved how culturally, you know what I mean, he was the, probably the biggest influence in the game at thus far. You know what I'm saying? Puff Daddy is doing it right now as we speak with what he's moving with Revolt TV. You know what I'm saying? When 50 Cent has continually done it with um, endorsements at record numbers, when he did it with, we all know about the Coca-Cola, vitamin water thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's about cultural influence and all of that came from guys that come from the bottom and the foundation that, you know what I'm saying which is you know uh, that they stand on them which is hip hop you know what I'm saying which is the same foundation that battle rap you know what I'm saying stands on that same playing field so Ebro was in Ebro knows numbers he, he he's a very smart dude I listen to him on Hot 97 all the time and I follow a lot of his, his videos, and, you know, a lot of people think that a lot of what he says is rhetoric, but he's real educational to try to put people up on what it is that um, radio is really based on now. A lot of people say oh, he's ruining the culture, he's the smack, but it's a numbers game. You know what I'm saying? It's a numbers game, dog. It ain't no different than this year coming, they're going to experiment with putting logos on NBA jerseys, patches, of different corporations and brands, and you're going to start seeing McDonald's logos on NBA jerseys, Subway logos, HP computer logos, Apple computer logos. Like you're going to, we're going to start seeing that. It's going to look like NASCAR racing in the NBA and in the NFL soon as well. It's about brands. It's about corporate, the corporate dollar, man. So hip-hop is unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, it got bought out, man. Like the, the, the music, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the culture, was was up for sale, you know what I'm saying? And until we take it back, and you know what I'm saying, in our hands, then you know, then it's it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. 
You know what I'm saying? Nobody, and they figure, man, these, 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 these people are the minority. They're not going to stand up, rise against the corporate machine and demand that they play records that they want to hear. They're just going to get mm-hmm. in their car and listen. You know what I'm saying? Now, now Bishop, Bishop, my bad. Go ahead. Bishop but, Gigante actually had a pretty interesting tweet about the, when the whole Ebo situation was going on. Yeah. He was like, oh, why are y'all killing a man for having an opinion? And, I, like, I, I wanted to ask you this, too. Do you think the Battle Rap fans might have been too hard on Evo? Not at all, because like, what, what happened was nah, they, they, read, they read a tweet that he put out saying that it was boring and it was childish, and why wouldn't they feel attacked? Because that's something that they t- Yo, listen, man. These dudes are waiting. We all wait weeks up to a month for every battle to, to drop. We, we checking on URLTV.TV every day. We checking on YouTube. We checking, you know what I'm saying? We, they checking Norms' tweets. They checking Smack and URL. They all follow Smack right on Twitter, URL TV on Twitter. They follow all of them, Street Star Norms on Twitter, to see when is the next battle dropping. So now it's like, yo, Norms, when you, you know, they hungry, man. They hungry. And so they ask, you know, yo, when you dropping the next PG? Like, you got to give us something, man. Like, yo, we out here, we... We starving out here for the next battle, man. We, you know, we, we seen him. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they spoon feed him the battles to, I guess, you know, in a sense to, to, to build their anticipation for the next one and the next one and the next. They don't want to put out too much at one time because it's only a limited amount of content anyway because it's only one league. You know what I'm saying? URL is only one league. So if they put everything from known three in one week, then what will we have left to look forward to? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What will we have left to look forward to? So they have to space it out. I know sometimes it seems a little like, come on, like these niggas are dropping battles two, three months later. It's, it's a, it's a vault. Now they got you also got called the vault, huh? I was to answer Jesse's question. You also got to understand these fans are like, we got like anti-industry fans. We got fans mm-hmm. that pretty much is like, you know, fuck the industry. You know, I'm, I'm fucking with, I'm fucking with this um, battle, this battle shit. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. industry's um, whack now. You got a lot of people who think that. So when they see somebody high up in the industry with that Absolutely. strong opinion, negative opinion about mm-hmm. you know the culture that they rep and they feel is the real hip hop that's out here, you know that's when you're gonna get those type of responses on Twitter and everything. Like absolutely right, but you're right, but that, that's exactly my point. Just to play devil's advocate right now. If, if uh-huh. we're saying fuck the if we're saying fuck the industry, then the industry has a right to say fuck fuck you. Oh, they definitely well, do, but you really got to be prepared to deal with the backlash of yeah. saying that. But you know, I don't have a problem with him saying it. It's just, you know, industry, it's his bro. opinion. I don't agree Nobody with it, that. you know. It's his opinion, but I, like I said, you got to also remember, you're going to have to deal with the backlash of saying that, too, because a lot of people feel strongly the other end. Mm-hmm. So when they come at him, that, like, you can't be making bold statements and not expect a backlash. It's just going to happen. But nobody on our side said screw the industry, though, Jess. Like, nobody on our side said no. That. Like, but you know what I'm saying? That, that that's the mentality of, the, of the, the, the hardcore, you know, battle rap fans. They, like, Absolutely. you know, a lot of them, like, I don't even listen to the radio. I, I, Smack is my radio. Like, you know, like, you got a lot of people who feel that strongly about what we do. Yeah, and, and we get those calls every day. Yo, yeah, we don't, I don't even listen to the radio. Battle rap's my new radio and stuff. And that could, be, that could be taken to, if Ebo keeps his ear out there, I mean, that could be taken to him a certain type of way. So when he retaliates, I mean, you know, does he have a right to do so? And, I mean, I'm not saying that I agree with him because I don't at all, but I'm just saying, does he have a valid point, a valid reason to argue with us? He doesn't have I mean, he, listen. He, you yeah, always got. Exactly. I, I mean, you always got a reason to defend to defend yourself and everything. You, you know that don't make your opinion correct. I think he's kind of stuck in his old ways of how things should be ran, how things should go as far as hip hop is concerned. And I think he's a little bit out of touch, and I think those tweets show that. You know, he's not paying attention. Like I, I, I even left him a tweet that he's too deep in the forest to see the trees. He, he don't see what's going on around him. He's he's still stuck on you know his old method of getting hip-hop out there and what real hip-hop is. And mm-hmm. he just needs to wake up. Well, they have, a system, they have a system in place that that it's a rating meter system that they actually garner information from the ages of 12 to 65. You know what I'm saying? 
So mm -hmm. within that age group, you got 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. radio that they generate these numbers from. Well, he's attacking or, or he, well, he's, he's reaching out to the 18 to 34, you know what I'm saying, year old market, which is the 7 to 8, 5 o'clock, you know what I'm saying, the 7 to 8 traffic going to work, 5 o'clock traffic coming home from work, which is their target audience, the, their most important target audience. Everything in between that, they market to the different groups, age groups. You know what I'm saying? But the most important group for them, that number between 18 and 34, which is no different than the battle rap number. You know what I'm saying? And we, but the difference is what they don't understand is that when he talks about, then hip-hop is about maintaining the integrity, you know what I'm saying, of the culture. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the integrity of the culture at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, it drives artists to be better than average, you know what I'm saying? And comparing them to the greats, you know what I'm saying, is when they feel like when they first got on and they first decided to want to rap, the first thing that they wanted to do was they wanted to be Jay-Z. They wanted to be Rakim. They wanted to be Nas. They wanted to be Biggest Puffy. They wanted to make, in the South, they wanted to, when I lived, you know, and, and I lived in Louisville, Kentucky, and, and, like, everybody listened to Master P, No Limit, Cash Money. They all wanted to be baby. They all wanted to be, they wanted that $300 million deal that, uh, 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 $300 million that Master P was worth. You know what I'm saying? They aspired for that. You understand? But what they didn't realize is, is, like, what, goes, what, what comes with that, you know what I'm saying, in terms of wanting to be mainstream. We, we in battle rap, a lot of, I see a lot of the fans say, yo, we don't want that mainstream look. We don't want that. We don't exactly. want that. That's going to be where we sell out. You know what I'm and, saying? And, 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 this is, mm -hmm. and to, uh, to a lot of the fans, Ebro embodies that mainstream. That mainstream thing. sellout, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so but <laughs> what, what happens is what they don't realize is, is that at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, um, as long as we maintain ownership, creative control, they can't take nothing away. You know what I'm saying? When you see Jay-Z mm -hmm. drop an album, do you think that it was the labels that made him make that type of record? Or these type of... Jay-Z is one of the few artists that I see make music that doesn't complain after it's over like, Man, I mean, you know, I, I was just trying to, you know what I'm saying, the radio, like, I see a lot of the mid-tier rappers out of New York, you know what I'm saying, um, they try, they experiment with those type of records, and it could be a hit or miss, but a lot of the times with the fans, it misses because they're like, yo, why are we trying to sound like the down south dudes, all of them make those type of records, we don't need to make those type of records, we need New York music, so they want that vintage hey, sound. Hey. Hey, mate, my bad. I don't want to cut you off real quick, but I got a special uh, co-host on tonight. I know everybody's talking about the Ebro situation. But, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to set this up as some of madness. Matt Hoffa versus Kevin Durant. Matt, what's good, man? What's good, man? What's going on? What's up, man? What's good, man? How y'all doing tonight, man? You guys feeling good? You feeling good out there? Yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of news, man. For me. I mean, I yeah, there's, there's a lot of things going on, man. A lot of people are, um, a lot of the famous and powerful people are kind of like chiming in on battle rap right now. And I, I think whether it be a negative opinion or a positive opinion, I think it's good for the culture. Absolutely. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I had a, I had a back and forth actually, me and Nate, with, uh, with uh, Ebro, and and, yeah. and and you had one with um with Kevin Durant. Kevin yeah, Durant, yeah. I mean, can you tell us what happened before we get off topic? What happened? You I mean, you know, Kevin Durant, you know, love to him and um, you know, OKC, you know, uh, hopefully one day they'll, they'll, you know, get a ring. Um, he he just he, I feel like Kevin Durant is one of those people that just came around, just just started paying attention to battle rap, and they they're not really, you know, versed on how to. Judge battles. I, I saw him tweeting three o holler. He was saying that Hitman, no three o um surf against hollow. I I mean I, I don't I don't see that. You know what I mean? I, I don't think that um most of the people who've been following battle rap up till till now from the beginning would see that. But I've devised a new way, and I'm going to introduce this to you guys soon on how to judge battles, and I call it. The barcode. Hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna be deep. It's gonna be really deep. 
But um, as far as the Ebro and Kevin Durant thing, man, I think it's just it's just good. You know what I mean? Like, anything that just gets people talking about the culture and, and, and kind of exposing it to a new audience, like Ebro might not dig it. Uh, I, I, but I the see, fans the that hear this people, say it again? No, I was about to say, the whole Kevin Durant situation doesn't bother me because, you know, he he's not scared to put out there that he's actually a fan of this. And he actually, you know, watches and no, take time to tweet about it and come out to the events and everything else. You know, it, 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 but Ebro kind of, like, dismisses what what what's going on over here and this whole culture all together. He pretty much is saying it's a fad and it will disappear soon in so many words. Well, but I, 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 I mean, if that, if that was the case, I mean, how long has Battle Rap been around, like? And it hasn't well, disappeared yet. the beginning. I mean, that, that's one man's opinion. You know what I'm saying? The Ebro is, is, is um, you know, respect the Ebro and what he does. But um, at the end of the day, if you really want to put weight on who's saying what, when I mean, you got people like Puff, who's one of the reasons that, 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 that um, you know, Ebro's job exists, you feel mm-hmm. me, is like, if he's down with it, then then what do you really weigh in at? You know what I mean? And yeah, it is what it is, bro. I mean, it's people's opinion. I don't I don't think battle rap is boring. I don't think mm-hmm. anybody who's listening to the show right now thinks battle rap is boring. So who cares? You know what I'm saying? That's his opinion. I I think in the future, if he had the opportunity to come to an event, I think that he'd have a different understanding of it. He's more maybe looking at it from the outside or something he saw years ago. Or, or maybe Ebro used to be a battle rapper and he got chewed too many times. And he's just, <laughs> <laughs> he's just good you know, you, you never know. He might have been a uh, battle rapper on his block when he was a kid and he just got ate too many times. So he had this, this taste for it. Like, no, no. I got chewed too many times. It's corny. It's corny. <laughs> I can yeah, see Ebro as a battle rapper. Definitely. That's what I can see him as a battle rapper. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Go ahead. No. No, 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 I think even if he wrote battle rap, he would sound like Soul Car. What do y'all think? <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think? Oh, man, I, I, that, that's some funny shit. Just, just I, I don't know if you guys that. saw it or not, though, but, like, um, you know, the clip will concede it on the Wild and Out with, with Nick Cannon. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yo, he ate Nick Cannon. I mean, like, how do you feel as a battle rapper seeing one of like one of your peers get to that level? I think like, it's awesome. It, I watched it. I watched it right before I um, got on the line with you guys. Yo, I think it's awesome. Like, uh, it, it, it's just great. It's like, I don't know, man. It's like you're playing a seed, and it starts to grow where you you kind of like lose track uh, of of what's actually like going on with everything that's going on. And then you look back, and it's a fucking tree, and everybody's staring at the tree. It's just beautiful, man. Like, conceded on Wild and Out, chewing motherfuckers. Now, I, I, I doubt conceded is ever going to take a loss on that stage, ever. Yeah. Yeah, especially that section when they got to spit to each other. I, I, yeah, I, I, he, I, he shouldn't lose no one. I totally agree with Math, though, too. Like, when you see, like, conceded on Wild and Out and... You see, like, all the opportunities that was trying to get, you know, like, like, you know, like on, on BT. I, 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 like, I, yo, you're reminiscing on this shit, bro. Do you, you remember what these events used to be like? Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. sweaty-ass fucking club in a basement somewhere. It's packed in, like, you know, everybody's all out of control. There's no security at the door. There's probably, like, seven or eight Guns in the building, like these things used to be, like, like really out of control. Oh, yeah, where they at now, like this the is, professionalism this is, that, that, that it's, it's wild, man. The battle rap ever pre Smack's beard was definitely different. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, you know, clean, in the clean face Smack years, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I, I, I advise everybody listening right now to go go watch some of the old battles. Awesome. You know what I mean? Look at that mm-hmm. crowd, man. Like like look at what it what it used to be to what it is now. You know what I mean? Like it, it it's just beautiful. That's why I, I, I don't think anybody can blow my high when it comes to this shit because I've seen how far we've come. Like and mm-hmm. we're still going. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. great. I went from from being in a sweat box to 
for being in the mainstream, and now it's actually cool for 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 these for these to be a battle rapper. And now the question is: before the question was, can a battle rapper be a musician? Now the question is: can a musician be a battle rapper? So that's kind of that's kind of crazy to me. Yeah, now it turned around, right? Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. I mean, I. I mean, we've been this since the beginning. Well, Smaps was there. Smaps was actually the person that introduced me to Battle Rap, so he was there before it, like, with the flight, flight for Battle and all that, so. Yeah, but back, <laughs> way back in the day, Snorks did not give a fuck about Battle Rap. Oh, he cared about that. music. It was all about music. Yeah, real talk. Smaps is actually the reason I got into Battle Rap, because he was the first battle, and I, and I had the, the, the pre, you know, the, the misconception of Battle Rap is coming in music, and he's the one that changed my mind to it. And, you know, whatever, but it's definitely come a long way, man. That's why I say, like, what affected me about the Ebo comments was who he is and what position and the impact he has on hip-hop. So that's why I kind of took it, like, yo, bro, mm-hmm. bro, 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 bro. I mean, love to Ebo. Of course. Love to Ebo. I met Ebo once or twice. Nothing. I never met Ebo. No big lip, but, but love to Ebo. But I don't think that his influence can overpower the influence of the, of the people that love it. Like, I saw Drake in the club. I'm out, out in Miami right now. Join my stuff. I saw Drake at uh, one of the, 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 the heat the heat parties mm-hmm. in VIP. And his excitement was just encouraging. And he's, he's like, you know, the, the people around him, they're trying to get him for interviews. They're trying to get him for pictures. Uh, Spike Lee's lingering around. LeBron. Um, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, they're lingering around, like Chris Bars, like all these guys are moving around, and he's standing in the corner with me talking about battles. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's just different, bro. It's, it's different. It's, it's a different time. I don't, I don't think that what Ebro said, I think it's going to draw people's attention. It's like, you know, somebody says, oh, I don't like the new Jay-Z album. Someone who hasn't heard the Jay Z album might hear that person and be like, "Well, let me check it out." Hey, if you say you don't like the Jay Z album, you're a fucking hater. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, ba- yeah, basically, basically. I mean, or or maybe you're you're, you're comparing Jay Z to Jay Z, and I think that that is the only way that somebody could not like Jay Z's work. If, if you compare Jay Z to Jay Z, you prefer uh, a certain era of Jay Z. As the, as to the Jay Z that you're hearing now. Oh, real, real quick, man. You said who's championship party? Because I don't know if Psycho heard because he, you know he was going for San Antonio. Like, who's championship party? Uh, is you uh, at? Oh, I was at the Heat, Miami. Oh, I, I, I Miami. Yeah, yeah. Ring, uh, rings everywhere. Rings everywhere. Rings everywhere. Uh, Kevin Durant. That's Kevin Durant. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I like I like KD, but as long as LeBron's in the league, he's not going to win a title. Yeah, I told, Kevin Durant. You know what? And I said Paul Kevin Durant's a real fan. He you will know always be my dude. I said, <laughs> I said on Twitter that maybe Kevin Durant should battle me because then he could like have that feeling of of being in a ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow! Shot fire. We need some gunshots. Where that wind cycle in here? He could finally experience what it's like <laughs> to be in a ring. You know what I mean? Like. Oh shit! Oh, I mean, what yeah, do you think that's... Kevin? I mean, he said. He, I mean, I, I seen him when I seen him at our know my half. Definitely battled Kevin Durant. Oh, I mean, you know what? Kevin Durant reminds me. Of, I got a cousin named Kevin. You know, he, he's a good guy. But when I was young, you know, Kevin used to steal my shit. So I would take almost childhood years. I was coming back to my block and seeing my cousin Kevin wearing the shit that I had on yesterday in front of all of my friends. And I was just taking out on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of looks like him, too. Kevin. They're both named yeah. Kevin. That's crazy. But, yeah, I definitely, yeah, yeah, I definitely do that. I mean, I think that would be big. If he had the, the, the you know, the courage to do something like that, like Adrian Broner, I think that was yeah. amazing what he did. His first time battling and he actually had bars, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to AJ and Bro. I mean, uh, he body moved. I yeah. thought he, I thought he cooked more. Yeah, I, I thought so too. I, I, yeah, thought, he I think him. he lost him. If he lost the pony model, I'll give him. He beat move, so it gets him a fair trade off. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he wasn't. He, he wasn't too nice to me at the event. I'll be honest, with you, so, but whatever. But, oh, uh, 
I don't know. You know, Puerto Rican, these guys in the Midwest are not used to seeing Puerto Ricans, so it's weird. Ah, because, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just keeping it like, man, when you came around my family, they're not used to seeing the brothers, and, you know, you know how they treated you, so, you know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, your family, your family, your, your moms loves me. Ah, you want to go there? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go there. Your moms <laughs> loves me, dog. Oh, <laughs> loves me. I don't know about the rest of your family, but your moms, the look that she gives me every time I see her, uh, woo! <laughs> Uh, Woo! We're gonna ship that anyway. Anyway, so fuck you, man. I, I, I don't know. I make Nick. Can you save me here right now? Can you save me? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, when well, I spoke to Kevin Durant, yeah, no, yeah, but, but mom's clothes. To be to be honest, like the mom's is cool, but good mom's, good mom's is who I'm really after. Really? Where? <laughs> Tell us about that. Cause I, I need to know. Nah, he's going to hate me. He's probably going to try to cut me the next time he sees me. Because, you know, he's half Spanish. But, you know, his mom, I, you know. Right. <laughs> and she could cook, too. That's the stuff. So you actually, um, actually cook um, for you, too? Huh? Say it again? She actually cook for you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Bought me a plate, wrote it down, everything. Anyway, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I seen Kevin Durant at night, I went to ask him. You know, I heard you rapping. He was like, nah, I'm not going to get into battle shit. You know, I'm a, I'm a basketball player, whatever. So, having said that, you know, his favorite battle rapper, I think, is, is, is Surf. Oh, is it? Oh. That's a surprise. 3 0 Surf, yeah. <laughs> I was just saying. I mean, would that be something you'd be interested in? Oh, you know, like, what? What, checking out his favorite? I mean, yeah, I mean, I know Joe Budden. I know Joe Budden at one point. He wanted to battle him. Right? Yeah, it's not even me watching. Like, uh, he came out of of his state and entered into mine saying that, you know, I'm not too far removed from this shit. Like, I'll still jump in and do something. I'm like, what? Well, then do something. <laughs> you, know, like, you know what I'm saying? But we'll see what it is. Like, Joey, Joey's still out there, you know. I might go down. I told, I told the world I wanted Joe Button's Cassidy and move for some of that. But well, this is an argument we have all the time on the show, and I mean, I feel like I already know what your answer is going to be seeing your dose battle. But I mean, how do you feel an industry rapper like a Joe Button or Cassidy will do getting in that ring? Do you really feel like they'll get killed? You want me to say it? Cassidy will get killed. Cassidy, yeah. Joey, I think Joey would actually put up a fight because he, he's more charismatic. You know what I mean? I think mm-hmm. Cassidy, after the first round, will get boring. I totally agree. And then after that, it's just going to be a fucking slaughter. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I think him and Reed yeah. Dollars will not make the transition. That's how I feel. Reed actually have more faith in than Cassidy. Really? I, yeah. I, more, I got, I got more faith in It's the other way around with me. Because Reed actually has, like, he actually has battled, battle rappers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not, yeah, yeah. No, no killers, no, though. Nothing, nothing can be worse than the ass whooping Jesse just took on Sunday in his battle. I mean. Wow, oh, yeah. Who did you, who'd Jesse you battle? battle? Jesse? Did everybody see Jesse new battle? Alcoholism? Huh? He battled <laughs> alcoholism? <laughs> alcoholism? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, we're not getting into that <laughs> On to the next one. On to the next one. No, we're not gonna talk about. Let's talk about Olive Surf. No, but Jesse, 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 I gotta ask you, Jesse. So, so how'd you how'd you feel about your battle being that just dropped the other day? You know, people were tweeting at me about it. You know, at you know, what's going on? The fans want to know, Jesse. My bad. My bad if I disgraced the sport by doing that. I didn't. That that wasn't my intention. That's all I'm gonna say. (laughs) And what did you do, man? I, it was just bad. It was bad. <laughs> Answer the question, man. Uh, Come on, man. You don't get that I, 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 I choked the second and third round. I, it, of course, the second and my first when you round. Say, when you say choke, when you say choke, did you forget for a little bit and then you remembered? No, or no, did you no, just no, choke? no. I completely. I, no, I, Earl, Earl completely. choked the Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I. But, and Cycle was tough. Well, and and, and I feel like I, I lost the dude. I lost a dude that wasn't even all right. <laughs> That's the bad part. But I mean, 
Is Loaded Lux your favorite rapper? A Loaded oh, Lux? Is that a rapper? Uh, Rex. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rex. Yeah, Rex. Who's actually his favorite battle rapper, swimsuit model, basketball player, football player, everything? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's just, that's gross. Yeah, I'm what about you, man? Well, How many, what you got left in the chamber? How many more you got left? Yeah, you, know, you know, I've really been considering just, just hanging it up after this year. Because I saw you just wrote, things. I saw you just wrote, yo, I want to do, um, I want to do some of Madness. World domination. And I want to do world domination. Yeah, and I'm done. That's crazy. Yeah, nah, 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 I wouldn't be done yet. I won't be no, done until September. You don't, until, until you don't think that's taking on too much in a short period? Well, then again, you just no, I'm I, I, I got the one street. talking to. No, I'm quoting the Bro, I, I'll be honest with you. Like, I mean, taking on too much in a short period of time. I mean, I'm sitting under palm trees right now. I don't really got much to do, bro. I, I can do this shit in a week. It's not a problem for me. You know, some battle rappers need months. Well, I would like to have at least a good month for these battles. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you, you was recently just in the controversy too, with the whole daylight thing. I saw y'all blogging each other back and forth. And this, that, and, oh, and I know he was complaining about some editing that he said was going on. He was calling out East Coast bias and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. You want to touch I mean, on that I, real quick? I have no control. I have no control over what people do with um, the footage. Like, it's not in my contract to control footage or anything like that. But I, I looked at it as, you know, they, the people at Battle Lab Network rewarded me for not knocking daylight the fuck out. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I think that you know his performance was a little, it was a little extra, and I and I don't know if that was his intention, but it was just a little extra, you know. So mm-hmm. they cut they cut down on something for a couple of seconds. It wasn't like people. He's making it sound like oh, he was choking all over the place. No, I was not. There was a, 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 I forgot my rhyme for about a couple of seconds in the second round. But keep in mind, these are bars that I. I mean, I put this together like what, uh, two days before the battle. There were some things uh-huh. that, that, that was going on that kind of drew my attention away. And usually the last week, the week before a battle is really when I lock in because I like things to be fresh. Like when I battled John John and I had the, the, the Boston finish lines in the second round, that's because that shit had just happened while I was writing. You know what I'm saying? And that was a couple yeah. of days before it. Mm-hmm. I like for my shit to be fresh. I like to have that current event bar. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, oh, Loaded Lux, Joe. Arsenal battle. I had the, uh, I, this battle just came out this week, so everybody saw it. You know what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. Choking, turn them to Loaded Lux, choking on the Harlem Hots a little bit. I like that type of shit. Yeah. So, um, I was a little distracted. Uh, I originally wanted to cancel a battle, and then that's a little unprofessional, but. You know, we, we have our days, man. And when you battle as much as I have this year, like, sometimes you're going to run into some complications. And I think one complication out of eight battles, it's not bad. That's really not mm-hmm. bad. What do you think about Boys and Pants blog? Boys and Pants blog, I didn't, I don't know, man. I, uh, I started to watch it, but Boys and Pants, like, uh, I don't know. He, it's like he doesn't hear, hear the questions. <laughs> he doesn't hear his questions. So I got confused and I stopped watching it. Shout out to Poison Pen though. Like I was like, what the fuck is he talking? I, I don't know, man. Like if you watch the, the um when when I battled Rex, I had a conversation with Poison Pen late. I was like, yo, man, you know what? I'm up there. I'm, I'm about to battle, or, or I'm battling, and you guys are doing this shit behind me. Like that's really distracting. Like, I, you know I'm battling. Why would you take it that far? He was like, yo, bro, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. He kept saying shit to me, man. He kept saying shit to me. Go back and watch that footage. Poison Pen hears voices. <laughs> that footage, he just, it's like he says something, then he stops, and he stands still for a little while, and then the voices start talking to him. And then he says something again. It's like he's responding to him. It's, the shit looks crazy. It's well, actually, crazy. during it's during your battle, like there was a problem. situation though. That wasn't that, it, that wasn't one of those cases where rare ca- occasions where he had voices in his head. He was having your man that be on the on the stage with you. What happened was he was trying to get a closer <laughs> view of the battle, and Poison Pen would have had to move out the way for him to get that. 
So Poison felt like, yo, son, you trying to sell me right now. You trying to get, you telling me to move out the way. You see me standing right here. So they going no, back and forth. Uh, initially, yeah. they had an issue. Well, I turned yeah. around. I was like, yo, no, no, no. Everybody was good. I turned back around. Poison pants started. Well, then, well, that was because. It, it became, it was a Brooklyn thing at that point. Now <laughs> niggas are staring at each other, you know what I'm saying? They're exactly. Just staring mad and that's, they're, my, that's my notion to have brother. But yeah, there was some Brooklyn shit going on that day. Because I've been there before. You know, when yeah. people are not saying anything, I'm hearing voices. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that was me a couple was. times. Yeah, that's what that was. So, you know, but he escorted himself off the stage. You know, and he, yeah, he, he was prefer for, for my brother, my Brooklyn brother, to stay behind me and just keep it cool. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Did you see those facial reactions in my Marv 1 battle? I need Poison Pen to stand behind me, y'all. <laughs> for real. For real. Yo, what's up with Aver? He's battling all my soon, right? So yeah. Yeah, a week. How y'all feel about that? For some reason, I feel like Arsenal is going to get him, yo. Uh, yo, I feel the same way well, because I feel it's like... St. Louis, so that's the only thing that that's like keeping me from saying that he, Arsenal ain't going to get booed. Arsenal's going to get booed. I, it's all how he responds to it because he's going to get booed because Arsenal talks a lot of shit the, about St. Louis. The, the, problem, the problem with that is when that footage comes out, if that crowd is overly biased, uh-huh. then... Arsenal is going to have so many people on his side because of it. Because this this whole anti bullying vibe in mm-hmm. battle rap, if, if if someone is performing somewhere and the crowd is being biased or they're being you know fucked up towards that person, I, mm-hmm. I think most of the fans will side with the person that the crowd was against. Yeah, I agree. Now, now, see, here's the whole thing with that battle. This is why I like this battle so much, though. Because Verb does best in his hometown, Arsenal does best away from his hometown. I didn't give I didn't yeah. give Arsenal the win over you. I didn't give the Arsenal the win over Clips. I I don't think Arsenal's good in his own home. Not not good, but he's not his best. He's better away. That's what well, makes the most. What do you consider? Arsenal. What do you consider it a home game against Hitman Hollow? He no. lost to Hollow though. I know. I said, did you consider that a home game for him? Because if so, it then that explains the loss. But it was more of a home game for him than it was for yeah. Allah. That's what I'm asking. You know, I mean, considering yeah. that when you hear them talk, they always say they don't get no love in New York. Surf was saying before the hollow battle, he never got no love in New York. That niggas, New York niggas are always biased against them. The Jersey niggas don't get no love in New York. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're neighbors, but they're not brothers or sisters. They're cousins. Yeah. Cousins, it's like yeah. distant cousin, New York and Jersey fans, and then he's not even from Jersey City. He's from Newark, which is further out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, the crowd. This is um, the 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 biggest roar that we heard at Known Three came from Jersey. When they said "Hollow the Dawn" and "Surf," Hollow got a few chairs, but Jersey they roared for for Surf. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then when he said. Um, is Jersey in the house? It was a big roar. When he said, yo, where my queen? K. Capri said, yo, where my queen's niggas at? And I might have heard, out of 1,500 people, I might have heard about eight people from Queens. <laughs> oh, man. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man. Literally, dog. Literally. Yeah. It, it might have been about eight to 12 people from Queens screaming in that crowd. I was like, oh, my God. This I is going to be I crazy. I heard Michael at the top of his lungs when he said Jersey. He was screaming like a fucking 15 year old Wow. Yeah, but Hollow so, had a good line I, I, with I, I the Queens dude when he said, uh, Queens run all you battle rap niggas, the fact smack. Yeah, that was a good one. Well, if you follow the Bronco. Uh, uh, are we going to get into the Hollow Surf battle now, or? Yeah, let's do that. We can. We can. What was your feeling about the battle, bro, man? I know you ain't I thinking it was 3-0. Like... No, nah, I didn't think it was 3-0. I felt like, um... Surf kind of got the second round. But the the first and the third, I gave the hollow. Mm. You like one of the first people I heard say hollow won the first round. Because I think some of the punchlines were overhyped. Some of the service punchlines were overhyped. 
Mm. Definitely. Well, yeah, he just started off. So I, he started I, I off so counted, strong out the gate. I even counted a free Don DeMarco. I didn't know we were giving those out. That's what I mean about Don, Don DeMarco. But it was a free Don DeMarco in that tap. <laughs> when Sir said, oh, how was your man? Where'd you go away with him? Don DeMarco. No, that did not deserve a Don DeMarco. <laughs> I think Don DeMarco from Jersey. Really? Uh, nah, wow. he's from Queens. Nah, he's not. He's not. Nah, 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 nah. But that was a free Don DeMarco. <clears throat> I didn't get that. I didn't get well, that. He started but, out he yeah. goes off, well, you know he goes off crowd reactions. The crowd went crazy when Sir said it. It ain't come across as good on cameras as it did in the building. Yeah, but I don't think the, the crowd didn't go that crazy, bro. It didn't go that crazy. <laughs> yeah, and it, and and it, it was over, and it was still hyped. You know what I mean? Like, uh, are we measuring the volume of the crowd, or are we measuring the depth of the bar? Yeah, I think he goes you off crowd reaction more so than depth of the bar. Well, then, then that's not cool. Then I could just. Take half of my battle money, half of my upfront money, buy a whole bunch of tickets, and make sure I got enough people in there to make a lot of noise for every single thing that I say. <laughs> and then what? Do I get Don DeMarco's all night? <laughs> you feel uh, what I'm uh, saying? Yeah, I hear you. That's why I devised this whole barcode thing, man. I think that everybody... These battles are not judged, but I think that the biasness is a, a allowing people to put people in positions that they don't deserve. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I think so that if you're a dope rapper, you wanna... then, then, then let's okay. measure your bars. Let's measure your performance. Let's not measure your popularity. Yeah, I, I totally, I'm totally with you on that. Um, uh. So you want to give a little blueprint of what you, what your barcode is going to be all about? Like I mean, a scoring it's, it's, system? It's, it's, like, is it like a scoring system or something? It's an acronym, acronym for scoring system. Bars. Authenticity. Reality. Creativity. On the spot, delivery, and execution. Barcode. Okay. Well, how many is that? Eight? That's seven. Seven? seven? Oh, okay. But I, I, I you, think you know, you know, Jersey niggas can't count. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But I think these these are the categories in which everything that we hear in the battle should be judged under. Mm-hmm. You, you, is there anything is you get more points than the other? Like, is it, is the bars get more points than like delivery or? I mean, I, I don't think that the bars themselves are are, are like the ushers. To, to everything else that we get out of uh, uh, of the, the of battle rap, bars are mm-hmm. actually lines. That's what a bar is. Musically, a bar is is four clips on a metronome. One, two, yeah. three, four. That's a bar. Mm-hmm. Now, in battle rap, bars and the description of bars and, and what what it breaks down to is just a line that hit something that hit with the crowd. Yeah, it could be a punch. It could be a scheme. It could be whatever, but it's a bar if it's hit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So um, when 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 certain battle rappers, are, you know, they have performances. Or some of them, like the, 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 the depending on their style, if you look at Big K versus um, Big K versus Rosenberg Raw. Now, yeah. Big K has punches. He punches every four, sometimes every two. Yeah. Just like the match. Mm-hmm. Now, he doesn't really do personals. <coughs> so when you nah, when you have to get someone who might do personals or whatever, there has to be a, 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 a scoring system for that person also. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, you so know, you... I, I, I just figured that I, I needed to create this so that people can, can really get, like, all right, when when the crowd is biased, there has to be a way that you can actually break this down. Yeah. Some people are being fooled by a biased crowd. That's what I think. I agree. I you know, agree. How about even beyond the crowd, you got groups of people that weren't there for to watch the battle 
and are debating on it in chat room groups, and they're swearing by an opinion. And ain't seen 20 seconds worth of footage yet. And and those people are dangerous. Because I've seen people write shit like, even Hollow said he lost that battle. What are y'all talking about? Uh Hollow never said he lost the battle. But there's motherfuckers typing that type of shit in these forums. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Just keep it 100, man. Keep it 100. I know you might like some of us more than others. You know, I got fans that ride or die with me. They don't feel like I've lost a battle yet. Mm. But, you know, you got to keep it 100, man. You got to judge these things equally because we don't want to have um, uh, uh, some sort of, of clown shit go down. In well, let me, let me, can I yeah. ask, can I ask Matthew, how many battles has Mass lost? Personally, yeah. I feel like if I, if I ran it back from the beginning, or are we talking about what, what's online? URL error. URL error. You are? URL error. One. Hmm. Who would that be? And we all know what that one is. I don't. I'm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I do now. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Any disagreements? Keep them to yourself. Thank I, you. I, Thank you. I, I would say that's the one clear loss you probably had, and the rest of them is either you either you won or you were debatable. You got a lot of debatables too, in my opinion. I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of debatable. Which would I, I, I guess? Okay. Let me count the, the, the debate. Patch day, the beta. You would say, yeah. right? Yeah. I wouldn't say that because I feel like I feel like some of his bars were overhyped. Mm. Truthfully. Um, I also feel like there was some, some foul niggas in the crowd who were yelling on my fourth bar to throw off my punches. Yeah. And if you play my third round or you play my at the end of my second round, you can hear these motherfuckers just yelling out of nowhere, right on the punch. And people are in the crowd are turning their heads like, what the fuck is that? And they're just missing the punches. Yeah. So Pat State, that would be one of them, right? Yeah. Um, um, let's, let's see. The one you had against Sugar, I heard a lot of people arguing over that one. I personally gave you the win, but I know a lot of people. I caught some heat over giving you that win, too. A lot of people thought Sugar won that battle. And the reason they would say Sugar won that battle is because they feel like he delivered his balls better than I did. And it, can, it cannot it cannot be based on content. It can't be based on content. It's based on math stumbled. Yeah, that's what that was one of the main arguments I heard. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Now, okay, so let's say um, if I'm giving you a speech about using condoms. And I stumbled through my speech on using condoms. If somebody else comes over or he speaks eloquently about going raw on prostitutes, which one do you follow? <laughs> it depends the on who makes the who makes the better uh, better argument. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like if you break down his bars con- and you break condoms down mine, condoms is having a hard who has, who has right the now? better writing ability? Condoms is having a hard time selling right now, brother. <laughs> I get what you said, though. Uh, I get what you said. I, I, I'll say Shadi right. Horror, but I, I'll, I'll say that you need the Shadi Horror was, more debatable I think you did than Shadi Horror did. Yeah, exactly. you, you did that one to yourself, I believe. Because of the second round? Yeah. But you got to understand. I mean, I like, saw that, that you were wrong with it. That was me just having fun. I wanted to do something new. I know Shadi Horror. I know... How he feels about his, his battle record and how um, people that are top tier sleep on him, and I just wanted to give him a nice little jab. Take mm-hmm. that! I don't understand the people that says that, that that I choke. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. It's like they're not even mm-hmm. listening to what I'm saying in the, in, nah, in the battle. You just deliberately well, didn't get your second round. Yeah, but arguably there are people who give me that win. True or not true? Well, the third, the, yeah, the, is, the so. one that I give you, the battle I so. give three zero. I only give one, the, the one three zero I gave you, which wasn't a body, but it was a three zero, was against Arsenal for me. 
Yeah. I feel like that was yeah, your best yeah. performance of the year, yeah. clearly. That was your clearly your best performance. Do you feel like Sean was a 2 1? No, no. I didn't like the battle. Nah, I, 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 yeah, I felt like you won every, you edged every round. No, well, no, a couple of rounds you won clearly. I said you edged one. I think it was one round you edged. One of them was debatable. I forgot which one it was. I ain't seen that battle in a while. I said people say the second. Or the, no, 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 no. People say the first. Some people give him the first. But the second yeah. and third was mine, clearly. But either way, that's what. I, but I, I actually, Nate, you're wrong on that one, though. The three zero on on Marv one also is also a clear mark. Yeah, that was a clear one. No, nah, I, I thought I thought one of Marv's rounds was really good. That he that it was a, it was a debatable round for me. I get yeah, I edged it. I, you know, I I, I felt like it, it could have went. You know, depending, it could have went either way. I actually like. I think it was Marv's first round. Which round was, was first? That was the first round. Yeah, that I can't was the remember. first round. I think I think it was his first. It was round. the first I round. It was dope. I thought it was dope. It had I mean, to be the first round. It took you his second and third round to break him down. Like, once you broke it down, after that, the first round didn't matter. But it didn't matter because I already heard the first round. It, if you would have flipped it for the first round to the second round, then I would have been like, yo, he, he, he got him in that first round because he, he absolutely I got to disagree with down. you, bro. I felt like that was a body every single round. Like, okay. if you, like I, like, I said, I like, if you I like use the bar code and you measure his bars compared to mine, Mm-hmm. It wouldn't even it wouldn't even seem close. Okay. You feel me? Mm. I think battle rap, battle rap has to be measured by by the, the skill, the creativity, the the originality in it. Or we're gonna have people doing clown shit like daylight coming out of nowhere. I, I, and Just that's another battle shit. I heard people say you lost. I heard people say you lost to daylight. Well, I don't. I don't go to sleep on stick. I don't. I feel like I, I said some shit that they like. That they had more of an effect than the shit that he was saying to me. Mm. I didn't know what the fuck they like was talk, talking about half the time. Yeah, like I remember weird, you. Man. I remember you tweeting saying that was the weirdest battle you ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was weird. It was a, just, my bad. I actually like. I like, like the approach. Go ahead. Man. I like I always like Mav's approach, honestly, personally, until the jokes come in. Then I then I then I'm then I'm just sitting there at that point. But I actually I, I love I love it until he starts to joke. I'm not a fan of jokes. Well, I, 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 I actually appreciate like some of the jokes he says. But there's, there's, there's people about. who don't even hear what the fuck I'm saying until I start the joke. Oh, uh, well, you feel me? You know, so for that particular battle, like I didn't with daylight all of his antics. I really hated the battle overall because of it just was like, yo, are y'all, is this for real? Is this really happening? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But when I had the opportunity to actually listen to the bars that you were spitting, it was dope. Like, it was really dope mm-hmm. stuff until the jokes had to come in, and I was just like, after that, I, was just, I didn't care no more. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm you not, don't, you don't like my consequence teeth, bars? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I watched it like that. was funny, so, dog. Uh, you see us with them choppers hanging out like consequence? That shit was <laughs> You know what like it is? I, did, hold on, hold on. Did Gnome happen before that drop or no? Did that happen? No, right? no, no. That that drop, gnome had dropped before, uh, like two, two, three days before Gnome. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I know so, I was yeah. that, that, that used the consequence bar um, in Gnome 3. I heard it too in Gnome 3. Oh. I missed it. Yeah, but I don't remember. I, but that wasn't the first, you know what I mean? Again, like I said, I mean, you know, I don't, you know, this isn't a persuasive essay. It's just an opinion, you know. Not so, so. I mean, like, I was actually, what I was going to say was, like, me and Psycho had the same conversation. Like, we both knew that, we didn't, both knew the outcome before we watched the battle. But watching the battle was pretty much like, and it was most of the comments on unbiased review. It was kind of like, is there going to be a fight? It just felt like it was going to be a fight. Like it, it felt like it was going to be a fight. It felt like it was. It felt like if that battle happened at a different spot besides where it happened, it, it could have got ugly up in there. It, it you know what? I, and I'm going to say negative. I don't think that on any stage I would hit daylight because I understand what I'm teaching mother. Every time I touch that stage, believe it or not, I'm being a father to some of the people that's watching this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If if I got a yeah. problem with daylight, like it's 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 nothing to do things 
you know, they, if you, you know, we got a problem, we could go outside, we just, you know, go five minutes around the corner, just me and you, whoever walk back, is that nigga, you know what I'm saying? But, nah, I'm not going to hit this dude on stage, like, come on, bro, like, and at this no point, like, let's, let's where say, you. okay, YouTube decides to do this fucking battle thing. I'm shaking hands with CEOs and all that stuff, and they're talking about, oh, we, you know, we're really, very interested in helping you raise your brand, and da 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 And then I do some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said battle rap back a thousand years. Because after that, let's say uh, uh, a big venue, stage 48, they get wind of this shit. Oh, fight, riots. Oh, if I'm on the card, it's going to be a problem. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like the Armageddon, the whole Armageddon shit might, me and, me and those having a rematch might have played a role in how people felt about that being thrown in their neighborhood. Yeah, yeah he, he, between that and, and all of the publicity that Bill Collector got after Summer Madness. Yeah, e- exactly. Now, you yeah, that was... shit, all that, all that extracurricular shit, and you put that right on stage again. Yeah. Nah, I would have said that a rap so far. I mean, they like, might, have, might not have known what the fuck he was doing, but I knew what was going on. So I had to be the adult in that situation. Simple as that. Mm-hmm. Well, come on. If anybody thinks that they, like, punked me, come on, bro. Just grow up. Water on my... Uh, wash my sneakers off. Jesus washed feet. Yeah. All right. Um, Matt, if you want to take a couple of these calls, questions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll call it. All right. Um, 719, you there? Yeah, what's good? What's good, man? Oh. Nothing, just chilling. What's good, man? What it is? What's going on, brother? Oh, nothing, just chilling, chilling. But, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm smoking, smoking blood, standing at palm trees right now. It's good. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, though. You, you, you're you going to take, you said you're going to quit after this year? Yeah, after this year, man, I think I'm going to sit down, bro. Dang, Be man. I, I want to see oh. a couple other people grow, and I'd rather, you know, get behind the scenes. And, yeah, and, and you push that rap a little bit further. You know, like, because you gave us fans, you know, the, this year, you know, you put in a lot of work and shit like that. And then, like, you know what I mean? We're so used to wanting to see you and shit like that. And then next year, you know what I mean? It's done. I mean, but what I, what I actually, my, my, what I wanted to encourage everybody to do, and me taking all these battles, was to speed up the process or the pace of battle rap. And if you look yeah. at since I announced that I had those four battles in one month and this amount of battles in that amount of time, everybody is battling more frequently now. Yeah. So the yeah, fans, whether they were my fans or not, they're getting what they want. Yeah. And that's all I wanted to do was propel the culture. And uh, were, were you going to go through and uh, were you guys going to do that fight or what? You in daylight? Because I had seen a blog and shit I like mean, that. Yeah. There were talks about it, but I'll be honest. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's even worth it. Like to be honest, yeah. I, I really don't think it's worth it. I yeah, think, I they, um, I think that, that, that might wants... open up a whole new can of worm on people trying to clown battle rap. Yeah, I feel you. Trying to put a bad you know? stamp on the name and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, but uh, I want to. I mean, to if talk... daylight feels that strongly about it, I mean, I, I'm. I, but I just wouldn't want it to be attached to battle rap. I wouldn't want yeah. to that like that. Yeah, I feel you. Because, yeah, I seen you in daylight. Yeah. was like, I seen your form. He was like, uh, I seen you. He was like, you probably knocked me out. He was like, but you know what I mean? I seen yeah, that he shit. Doesn't care. Was, That's the with, thing. That's the difference between me and him. Like, he doesn't care. He, he will do anything. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Was that before or was that after the battle? That was after. Oh, it was? Yeah, that was right after. Just to show people how realistic the whole us fighting on stage thing was. That's what I thought, too. I was like, what? He just wanted some attention. He just wanted to bring the views in. Because even before, yeah, when he was on Battle really Rap Arena... He wanted, I, I think he really wanted me to hit him on stage. <laughs> yeah. Because hmm. that's what he was... Didn't he say that, Psycho? When he was here, he was like, me and Matt are going to get, like, 
I forget how many millions of views and he, shit like yeah, that. He, he was, was tweeting the shit before we even set up the battle. He was like, if Mass punches me, that would, that it would be uh, a, a great thing or whatever. Like, he was tweeting that he, he wanted me to punch him in the back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I wanted to talk. Yeah, I was going to talk about the hollow battle, too. I wanted to say, like, I thought talk, I thought Hollow won, like, 2-1. Like, I thought he got the second and the third, because, like, even Surf's, like, his slow it downs and shit like that. What the fuck does a bar mean when he says, out the Jeep and start to drizzle, ain't no telling where the rain go? Like, what fucking sense does that make? Yo, yo, oh, 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 I'm glad you brought that up, brother. I am so yeah. glad that you brought that up. Yo, when you play that, that, that slow it down, when he said, they thought it was a Durango. Listen mm -hmm. to the fucking crowd and the dick riders that were, were just too overzealous. Somebody yelled, oh, my God, on that <laughs> one. I Before they even them. knew what the fuck it meant. Before they even knew what the fuck it meant, somebody yelled, oh, my God. I, I swear to you, if you play the footage and you turn up your speakers, you will hear the dick riders. Mm. That's why I say, like, we need to devise, well, I have devised a judging system. And I, I feel like people should use this because then when you, when you have, like, a crowd that is just biased, like, they don't care what the other person is saying. They're not going to respond to it because they want to influence who the winner is. They don't want to leave it up to that person's skill. They want to force a win. They want to they kind of, like, uh, 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 Mentally, like, mind fuck the people who watch in the thinking that this shit is hot and they just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. On that Durango, he said that they thought it was a Durango. Somebody said, oh my God, before he slowed it down. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. You, you, you know, I mean, we understand, I understand the bar now. Did you call the bar now? I think Serge is dope, but. Come on, there was some obvious riding in it in that battle, like for real, crazy. All right, let's take another call. Let's go uh, five six one. You there? Yo, what's poppin', man? Three little man on Twitter. What's good, y'all? Mass Nate in the back. Psycho Forty. Where what's you at? Man, what's, you good? Know, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? I got a few things to get on my chest. First of all, can we address the Jay Z album? Yeah, go ahead. That shit is trash. Uh, wait, 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 now listen, <laughs> where, where, where is the quotable Jay-Z? You don't tell me Nas and Jay go to the studio and, and grab this whole whack-ass beat and spit on? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to understand, if you look at where Jay-Z is now in his life and his appeal. But he's life. been like this for ever since Blueprint, my nigga. He's doing BS. No, but, no, but he hasn't. Train. That's the whole thing. He hasn't. This is not the same Jay-Z from Blueprint. No, no, that I'm not saying that. But he gave us the wild you really Hold on, Matt. 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 Just, he gave us the Dream of Lisa Keys. All right? He gave us Brian Shader Mod. He gave us Star is Born. He gave us some drinks here and there. And this is what the problem is. I love Jay. But like you said, bias fans. I had a nigga tell me on Twitter, yo, I, you know what, it's, it, because it's Jay-Z, I can never diss him. Like, so when do we be critical and keep it G up? Like, come on, we all love hoes. Let's be real here. We salute the nigga. He's that nigga. Jay is that dude. When Pac and Big Enough, now I didn't want the crown. Jay went and intercepted that shit and took it to the house. You know what I mean? But you can't tell mm. me when you listen to Magna, Magna Carta, whatever this shit is. You don't tell me the, the beats, they gassed us up. With his fucking commercials with Rick Rubin and Swiss B. Swiss, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Somebody no, no, you're not, no, nah, nah, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. You missing it. You missing it, though. You missing what's really missing going it. on, man. What's it's going a on? worldwide appeal. Whatever you don't like on that album, I guarantee you there's a million motherfuckers that do. His shit right. on that album, I think, is crazy. I'm like, oh, this shit. 
Yeah, I'll post with this. This B is hard. That should have the three mic album, man. That should have the three mic album, my G. I'm so sorry to tell you that shit. Nah, Where's the nah, problem nah, with Jay-Z? You, 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 you compare with Jay-Z to Jay-Z. Fam, Jay-Z flaws is a reasonable doubt. Before reasonable doubt, him and Jack thought was the highest spoke ass nigga. He best for him. So I just ain't feeling the lyrics, the beats, like some of them shit's going to come. I like Picasso. That's why I'm in the ocean thing. All right, enough of that shit. Enough mm-hmm. of that shit. Ocean, ocean Thank you. Uh-huh. Let's, let's get on Ebro right quick. This is the same <laughs> nigga who told me on Twitter that Yeezus is going to stay Hold in on, hold on. Before you do it, Daisy, I love your album. Yeah, it's so long. <laughs> yeah, we're on the Illuminati to strike us down. My bad. Listen, <laughs> Ebro told me on Twitter that Yeezus was going to save hip-hop. Really? The fuck out of here, nigga. So I'm going to listen e- to a nigga who don't want to battle our culture. Now, let's be real. Yo. This is a nigga, once again, what happened? I mean, every, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, bro. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. That's bullshit. You can't be a, a P, you can't be a fucking director, but fucking P, a program director at a radio station, claim you know hip hop, and you an OG. You ain't no young buck right behind the ears, breast smile like Similac that don't know about hip hop, and you got that position. And you gonna tell me you gonna take a a, a, a a stab at the battle rap culture? Really? Like North said on that fucking thing he put out today. Shout out to North real quick. Does Jay-Z don't tweet that much? <laughs> what the nigga fucking tweet? You don't get this work. Diddy, put up bread. What, Diddy don't gotta be at the battle rapper scenes? What, 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 Diddy, Buster, Q-Tip, Roy Benz, Pebbles? Really? You got Drake and fucking Kevin Durant beefing for like 27 minutes. I'm sitting in Super Ciroc. Look at these niggas going back and forth. This is official. So I ain't gonna listen to a nigga who... who, who Who's gonna come out and diss the battle rap culture? Because hip hop is whack. How the fuck, Ebro, you gonna diss the battle rap culture when you got Trinidad James and Riff Raff in your building? Really? But well, we, hip hop, the battle rap culture is clowns? When well, you got them two clown ass niggas in your station? Fuck out of here, nigga. Now, y'all gonna kill me for this, but I, I love hip hop, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. How the Don is in my top five? This nigga, ew. I think a lot of Sue Surf fans. Uh, Surf got the most gas fans. I hate talking to any nigga from Jersey uh, in Twitter because... Well, you from Brooklyn? Huh? You from Brooklyn? Now, with, with that being said, I had Sue Surf win all three rounds. Not a body bag. Chill out. Don't hang up on me, y'all. Not a body bag. It's like boxing and me. Like, two niggas got a ring round one. Boom. You hit, I hit. You scored wait, 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 a wait, wait, wait. Do you, Yo, bro, yo, bro, do you do all, you do all recaps or battles? Not at all. Oh, me and my crew, Nate, me and Nate, we chop it up. Nate, I chop it up with a few niggas on Twitter, and, and we, we, we break okay. down the, the battle shit. We ain't biased. I ain't biased at all, my G. And we, and we all got different opinions on that battle, so, you know, it's, yeah, it's we definitely all got respectable. I just had, like it's I said, a it's a boxing thing. match to me, and I thought, surf edge each round. That's just my opinion. Listen, even if you look at Harlow first round, he's like, all right, y'all, I'm gonna, let, me, let me stop, let me stop. I'm like, nigga, so to me, like what you were saying before that, you felt it wasn't hot, so now you don't give us bars. I can't, I, I can't oh, give us bars. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me give you my opinion. Let me give you my opinion. My nigga, let me give you my opinion. Come on. Now, Matt, Matt, hold on, hold on. Matt, it's Remember now, it's so famous, bro. I was it's written like that. But you got to understand, if it's written like that, it's an intention to entertain you. It's, it, it's like, how could you, how could you look at it mentally and say, oh, well, then you felt like this? He wrote it like that, bro. All right, I guess that's the first time, my nigga. I'm sorry. a little too deep in the hollow's mind right there. Like, no, you didn't need to all. do that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's entertainment. Okay, not a second round. Not a second round. That's debatable, okay. too. That second round is debatable. But once again, in the box of the back, the perfect analogy I'm using, I'm an edge to surf. And mind you, surf is not in my top five. I'm not a jersey. No, 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 no. Don't say it. stuff like that. Don't say stuff like that. Because if no, I was one of the best, stand up there, my you feel like you said surf is not in your top Come on now. Come on. Come on. Who's in your top, top five? five? Who's in your top, top, five? top five? Okay, I'll tell you who's in my top five for a hot minute. I got DNA. I got Rec. I got Hitman. I had Charlie Clips in that shit. And Hollow. And, you know what I'm saying? Those are the niggas who's my top five. These are the niggas to me who are consistent on a, on a, on a, and, and I don't niggas don't like Rex, but he changed with the times. 
from when he was battle with cops and them type of niggas and shit. You feel me? So that's my time. Hey, so I was in your top time for being consistent, and you don't feel yes. like he was consistent in his battle. I think no, not to me. I mean, I heard Hollow better, and I heard Surf better too. I'm not even sitting up and saying Surf was that much greater than Hollow. I just felt like a boxing match analogy I'm using. If you score the fucking judge box, to me, Surf won round one. Surf won round well, two. Well, I don't know how you scored it, bro. Niggas say oh, Hollow shit was hard. If, did you feel like you got, right, so, so explain to me exactly what it was like. What you feel like Surf? How wrapped him? Do you feel like he had better bars? Do you feel like Hollow's personals didn't matter to you? Did like what exactly made you give it to Surf other than the crowd? I'm not going out of crowd though, fam. I'm the wrong nigga that math. I don't do that crowd shit, my nigga. I don't favor niggas. I don't do that. Like I'm just telling you, like bars wise, I'm gonna get it to Surf. To me, I've heard Hollow better. All that super nigga throwing and the Detroit shit. We're going to hear that so many times, and it's not like the way he flipped it was that ill. Nobody, 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 nobody's ever used that angle, though. Nobody's ever used the angle that Hollow used. But the truth, though, the truth, that was the angle. The truth was that Hollow used that angle. Yeah, that was the angle. The truth. Okay, the truth. You feel me? Like, 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 how do we, how do we discredit, re- how do we take reality? Because as battle rappers, I feel like if I'm battling somebody, I can kill them with bars. I got bars. You know what I mean? Most of these niggas don't got thoughts like that. But when you hit somebody with some <laughs> real shit, but it's how you feel about that shit, my nigga. It's how you're really going in. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You can say real shit, though, my nigga, but how you flipping the real shit is when you're doing it, my nigga. If you go sit up there and say, I'm a crack, I had this nigga who was pissing in his drawers and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's how you flipping it to me, how you spitting that shit. You know what I mean? I ain't taking nothing from Hollow. I say once again, Hollow the Dark is, is top five in me. I hope to God him and Lux still battle. I hope the guy that battle does go down on some man in the street. I think that shit needs to go down. You feel me? That's just my opinion. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But salute to y'all, math. You know what it is. And math, real quick, though. You know what I'm saying? You know the coming soon, bro. I'm going to help you out. Uh, nah, you, you, you ain't got to help me out, my nigga. Just get the battles right. Get your bars up. Right, you you a hitman. You, you a hitman for the night like, battle. I'll fill you in a hitman battle, though. You said what? I was filling you in a hitman battle, though. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But, but just remember, well, I, 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 I know things that you like missed about that hollow battle. That's just my opinion, my nigga. Like I said, I, I, I edge it in boxing. I do the boxing mentality. Okay, it's 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. That's just how I, that's not shitting on, on how But this is the thing that I don't it's get. Like, 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 when, you, when you count the quality of bar, when you go through hollow's verse, and you, let's say you wrote it out line for line, Right? You see where the punches are coming. You see where they hit. How frequent they hit. Then you write out the Michigan, the Michigan ball was ill. You see how many dead, 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 there are a lot of dead spaces in his verse. A lot of dead spaces that I felt like he could have used better. He could have spent, exactly. spent uh, uh, a little bit more time and, and, and put a bar in certain spots. Where it was and that's every dead. round. And that's every round, man. And that's every round of what you just said, my nigga. In every round, I said, how I should have done what you just said. In every round. He should have done that. But, but, this, is, but this is where it confuses me, because I watched that battle, and how long is consistent, consistently punching. That's not every four, every six. Oh, and Surf to me was just landing, he was just landing in me more. It just seemed like his balls were landing. It was like you said, no pauses behind it. And I'm not sitting there saying Surf was eight times better. I'm just judging, like to me, Surf was saying better shit to me each round. Me for a battle rapper, a, a professional battle rapper such as myself, mm-hmm. when I watch that battle, I don't mm-hmm. see him hitting every line. Yeah, I don't see them, though. The right? hit. That's MIB, though. Of course you're going to say no, that. No, 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 no. But this is no bias. This is no bias. This is no bias at all. I'm being honest. This is 100, okay. I'm being 100% honest. I feel like maybe Howell had a little bit of ring rust. That's about it. That's about it. He came you out a little loud in the, in the first yeah. round, but... That's about it. He didn't he had a lot of ring runs. He had a lot of ring runs. And let me tell you something, Matt. Before that but battle popped off, I feel like the quality of his shit. bars. Well, let me tell you something. Before the battle popped off, I thought Hollow was going to win that shit 2-1. Just to let you know how well I'm at with my shit. This, I tweeted this out. Before the battle popped off, I said, Hollow was going to win that shit 2-1. I watched it. Mm. I thought both of them could have been better, first of all. It's not a classic. I know, no disrespect, but I don't think it's a classic. I think it's a solid battle. 
You know what I'm saying? But once again, so I'm, what's I'm the classic at, in your opinion? Huh? What's a classic? What's a Oh, I'll break it down. Oh, good question. Hitman Cortez. Oh, uh, let's break it down. Hitman A Verb. Oh, uh, what Sue Surf? No, see, Sue Surf and Young Ill was a classic. Ill and Rex was a classic. Um, nigga sleep on Young Ill and Calico. You see my shit just coming at you, my nigga. Uh, who else? Yo, actually, like you and you and Pat Stay was dope. DNA disaster, classic battle. Uh, let me go out and list him. Did I, I, Rex and Calico, classic, debatable classic. We can go there. Um. <laughs> There's a lot of classic battles, but those to me are classic battles right there. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Those are classic Absolutely. battles. Absolutely. Those shits right there hit the heart right there. I watch them shit, some cold balls, like you know what I'm saying? Those are the battles. Yo, you were Iron Solomon, classic. Iron Solomon, uh, Enes, classic to me. That was a classic battle. You feel me? My nigga, I study this shit like fucking geometry, my nigga. I fuck with the battle on culture, hard body, karate. I ain't going to take up too much of your time, Matt. Y'all know what it is, booking all day. You know what it is? Jesse, Nate, holler at your boy, Psycho, 40. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Later. Thanks for the call. All right, yeah. let's go. Yeah, uh, I yeah. see Ebro's back at it. The fans are still trying to get at him. Uh-huh. But, um, you know, the funny thing is is that it's, it was the, it was, like, math, like, listening to math talk about it is makes me makes me laugh because only a few people really understood the, you know what I'm saying, what it was that Ebro, you know what I'm saying, and what it was it that Ebro, the, uh, uh, the approach that he took, you know what I'm saying, to the statements. And a lot of people were, being, were so busy being condescending towards him, you know what I'm saying, that they were missing the point. It was like, you know, he said that, Mav said about uh, Puff Daddy, we got guys like that, you know what I'm saying, guys at that level of, like I said in the beginning of the show, it's about cultural influence. So when you got guys like Puff doing that, it doesn't cancel out what Ebro says, you know what I'm saying? But it creates the perfect balance for those that are worried about how influential he is and how he could sway. Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? This, yeah. this thing this thing got the breath of life that nobody could take out except Bro. itself, you know what I'm saying? Unless it, gets, it's eaten, it eats itself from the inside out, you know what I mean? So the culture is, is the battlers, the leagues, everybody else, all as one will have to ruin that. Nigga, these are all outside sources that we're not looking for acceptance, you know what I'm saying, from these guys. We we just want them to, you know what I'm saying, like, y'all got to respect it. If you're a part of this culture, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to have your eyes and ears on everything moving within it. He just missed the spot. Mm-hmm. That's all. He both just missed the spot, man. And he's entitled to that. Like, he even said the same thing about, he said the same thing about Power 105, that they, that look at their target audience, it's 12 to 65, we don't, uh, we don't, we, our target audience, we're not looking for young, we're not looking for old people and kids and children. So which is funny because he said the same thing about how it's childish and boring. Old people, boring, you know what I'm saying, children, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, childish. Like, it's funny to me, like, I, you know what I'm saying, so I follow him, so I know what he, I know how, how he speaks and what he talks about, you know what I'm saying. A lot of it, it's like a lot of it that was coming, to, being attacked to him was a lot of rhetoric from fans that weren't looking into what it was. He was challenging he was challenging the people to say something thought provoking about the culture that y'all stand for. Don't just be saying, Oh, he's a faggot, he's a he's a clown. Yeah, I think you're I mean, I mean, I mean, if you're I think if you really feel concerned about this thing, tweet Ebro and tell him why you love Battle Rap. Exactly. Yeah. Don't tweet him and tell him how he's ruining Hot ninety seven He's already deals with that on a daily basis. That's the reason why he's still there 10 years later. You know what I mean? He's been there since 03, dog. Like, he's been dealing with the, the resurgence, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the, you know, the resurgence of, of, you know, younger younger personalities at the rivalry station, like the the, hot, the morning show. So what did he do? He came from behind the scenes. He came from behind the curtain and came and took the show over. You know what I'm saying? So now he's on the morning show. He knows that Angie Martinez... You know what I'm saying? Was they comp- you know what I'm saying? Like she was, she was, she was Rocky Rose with Pro Style. You know what I'm saying? You know, and his and his show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Same thing with Flex with DJ Clue, the six o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know, he he understands what he what he was up against. You know what I'm saying? He he's, it's a numbers game for him, so he knows what's up. So that's the reason why he had to, you know what I'm saying? He had to push the envelope as far as he did by challenging artists and New York MCs to say, yo, this is what y'all really want. 
You know what I'm saying? Then go for it. But tell me, if you want to get on the radio, tell me why. What's the importance of you being on the radio? If you play your single, then what? What's your next move? You know what I'm saying? What's your next move? You know, so with mm-hmm. Battle Rap, it was just him challenging. I felt like it was just a matter of being challenged as, to, you know what I'm saying, raising um, um, conscious awareness, you know what I'm saying, of the people that were making the argument. When you sit down, math does it all the time. Everybody math talks to, man. Math literally studying his, his, his the, the, the person you have in the conversation with, like it's a, it's, it's a verbal op- opponent. You know what I'm saying? Because he challenges you to make your point. You know what I mean? He's very he's mm-hmm. analytical the same way that Ebro did when he took that. He threw, he threw it out there. I threw it out there as bait. He took it. He threw it out there as bait to the fans. Because it, and, and look what it turned into. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. while me and him were busy having, you know what I'm saying, while me and him were busy conversing on, on Twitter, because he wouldn't even respond to the rest of the people on there. He wouldn't even respond to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because I was the only one at the time. Like, I knew where I was going with it. So everybody else is like, oh, are you running hip-hop? Oh, yeah. It's like, dog, we're talking about battle rap. He's not talking about his numbers on Hot 97. We're talking to him about mm-hmm. battle rap, and y'all talking to him about Hot 97. Like, you're not even, you got to, if, even if you're going to draw the comparison, give him the, hip, give him the battle rap model, you know what I'm saying, to follow, to give, the the, the, the the artist game on which how they can do it to make it and they don't have to sell their soul. He says it all the time, like, yo, don't, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, screw the radio. You know what I'm saying? Screw the radio. I don't need radio. What you need radio for? Get your, you know what I'm saying, grind. Get your hustle up. That's what Smack did. Look what Mav did this year. You know what I'm saying? Mav did that win. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing with the Battle League. You know what I'm saying? Even what he's talking about, even after that, Taking this last battle, hopefully, you know, world domination, Summer Madness 3, and then capping off the year, September, or whatever, and then riding off, not, e- not even riding off into the sunset, but just getting behind the scenes and being more influential. It's about cultural influence, dog. Man's looking to become more influential in the game because he knows, yo, let me step back and help push forward this culture. Period. Let's push forward this culture. Because guys like Ebro, you know what I'm saying, when he makes statements like that, he knows what's up. He tweeted me and told me that. He said, yo, dog, I know, I know what's up. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand. Like, I respect it. I know it's popular. But nobody was seeing that back and forth from him. They were so busy, yo, I'm going to get him to retweet me. I'm going to say something crazy, and, and he's going to say something crazy back. No, dog. He respects it. He just was challenging. No, but you, you got to understand. But our battle rap fans, man, a lot of them are overzealous, man. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of them are overzealous, and they and, and they just want to get at you. Uh-huh. You know, that, that's kind of what they taught. Get at them. Oh, he, oh, he, oh, you dissing us? Okay, get at them. That's what they're doing. You can't knock them. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. I, think, I, I think we just, you just got to give them a guidance. Like, look, if you're going to get at this dude, if you really want to, Prove absolutely. a point to him instead of dissing him. Just tell him why you love battle rap and why absolutely. and why you don't you disagree with what he's saying. You know, what I mean? absolutely, absolutely. And it's funny right. because I, I spoke with with Norbs off Twitter and was like, "Yo, dog, they're missing the point." You know what I'm saying? They're so busy dissing him and being disrespectful, and I had to make sure even with Norbs was like, "Yo, don't don't like you gonna you look like you you running with a pack of wolves right now." Don't attack him, don't diss him. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Nose went in at first. At first, Nose oh, went in, and I was like, I had to, I was like, yo, I had, to, I, had to, I had to, you know what I mean? I had to hit him. I was like, yo, no, chill, chill, chill. Like, nah, we, this is bigger than that. This is bigger than that. You're going to look, you're going to, you, 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 you blending in the crowd right now. You know what I'm saying? We got to stick out of the crowd. You blending in the crowd right now. You know what I mean? So he understood it. Like, yo, you know what? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So. It, it was about challenging, like, make your point, yo. You know what I'm saying? He's giving you your your 15 minutes of fame. Make your point, yo. You know what I mean? Make your mm-hmm. point. If we're going to talk about this, make your point. Make it a good one, too. And I know if you would have got involved in the, in, the, in the Twitter rant, I could only imagine the things that you yourself, you know what I'm saying, would have had to say. A lot of the battle, you know, the only thing I couldn't get was none of the battlers were really getting involved in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? 
um, Smack ended up putting up the um, the, uh, the the picture of um, he screenshot the YouTube page and showed them. You know what I mean? We got a quarter million in two days off that surf and hollow. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know, men lie numbers. Die. I mean, I mean, men lie, women lie numbers don't lie. And he's a man that deals with numbers. You know what I'm saying? So this all the stuff like that, all the you know what I'm saying, spark, you know what I'm saying, you know, set off that spark, like, oh, okay, I, I got to respect that. Like, this is bigger than me saying it's childish and it's boring. And then, you, you know, he watched the trailer. Evidently, he, he's so busy doing what he does to try to keep his patient afloat. He don't have time in a box. To, step, to step to the side and watch a battle. There you're stuck in the box. Yeah, I mean, you know I, hear you. I hear you, bro. I hear you. I think it, it's just a matter of God and the fans are telling them what they should be saying to this dude. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and, and I don't really get the point needed to be made to to, to Ebro, but I, I understand that he's influential. And if you want to inform somebody that's that influential, he's got to see what's going on. He knows what's going on. So just tell him if he, if he doesn't know. Fuck yeah. it. Let's, no, talk, to, let's talk about some other shit, because this Ebro yeah. shit is like, it, it, it's pointless when we know that the caliber of, of uh, of people who actually love this shit. You feel me? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because what ends up happening off the back of that is that he gets a letter from his boss that gives him a revamped version of Summer Jam that actually has a battle on the roster. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, where the hell did this come from? How did that happen? Because he wasn't paying attention. That's how that happened. You know what I'm saying? No, but to be honest, Summer Jam used to do battles. Yeah, no, but I'm just yeah. talking about now. You know what I mean? Dean Chambers more than one of them shit. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. They know what it is, man. They know what it is. <clears throat> yeah, that's come on. You don't take another call. the hall in New York City. $100 a ticket, and people don't know what it is. <laughs> people know what it is, bro. 300 stage pass. This, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, um... No big artists performing, but Jada was there. He didn't perform. Stanley was there. He didn't perform his new single. You know what I'm saying? We got all of these artists there. Buster with his singles. You know what I'm saying? Lloyd Banks. None of these guys are there performing their music. Puffy didn't come down and and and, and sit there and fans. off that. You know what I'm saying? This is this is all fans and competitors on the stage. No music. You know what I'm saying? And it's you know, it's just something they've never seen before. You know what I mean? It's absolutely something they've never seen before. So they don't even understand it because they they used to mm. the standard. It's a standard that they're not used to. They're like, yo, how did how did this even happen right under our nose? We didn't even see this coming. You know. Mm. So mm. that's the new rules. Battle rap is the new rules. How about that? <laughs> how about battle rap is the new rule? You know what I mean? Battle rap is the new rule. Yeah, yeah battle rap is the new rule. Mm. Fuck with that. Yo, can we talk about some so, uh, some uh, six plus six some of madness matchups? Can we talk about Bro? that? That that's what I thought some, you some were Some of madness matchups. I thought you was on. Yeah, let's that. talk about What's it. Up? Are you talking about earlier? We were talking about why the Mav Hoffa and Murder Mook battle made more sense. Not on Battle Rap Arena. We wasn't talking about. It. We were talking about it off cam. Me, Flashlight, Louis, and Will. We were hmm. talking about why Murder Mook and Will actually said it. Why Murder Mook and Math and Louis said it. Why Murder Mook and Math made more sense than Sue Surf and Murder Mook. Hmm. So I'm going to tell you why. Here. Is, no, you tell hey, us why. Hey. You tell us why. <laughs> I can give you 12 reasons. <laughs> we just need one. Math here? Um, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, let me see. Uh, yo, I mean, come on, dog. Like, I really, really want to see stuff to murder move. Like, really? For real? Nah. Nah. I think there's just an undeniable history between, um, me and Mook did, did, you know, we just need to settle shit, man. Just to settle shit. Mm-hmm. I think after this year, 
battle rap is going to become huge, and you're going to see a lot more of all of us. And this is something that we need to just push it over the hump. You feel me? And there's a lot of things I want to get off my chest. There's a lot of shit that people people don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of uh, uh, misconceptions out there, like, on, on how a lot of these things happen. And I feel like, you know, we just need to get it off our chest. I know when I first stepped into this shit, I wanted to be the best. I already knew I was the realest, but I wanted to be the best. You feel me? And I felt like I was ducked by the people who claimed to be the best. And Luke was definitely one of them. Now, I still got that, 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 that goal. I still have that, that, that task on my list of becoming the best. And if they say that Mook was the best at any time or, or, or from, from, from the era that, where I started, when I had to hear that oh, Murder Mook was this, I, I did a Superstar J um, interview and he talked about Murder Mook the whole time. Anytime I talked about my mixtape or whatever, somehow the shit got back on Mook. I, I just need to get this shit off my chest, man. That's it. That's it. We've been through a lot. It's time to close that chapter. It's time to to open the book, you know, like dust off the pages. Okay, this is what it really was. This whole time, this is what was going on, and this is why this happened. This is why that happened. This is why that happened, and this is how we here now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think certain Mook don't got no fucking history. Like, no, nah, they don't. What? Their beef stems off of what? Surf saying something about me to Mook? You feel me? Mm. Some of man this one, a little lot he had, that's it? Yeah. Really? Look, man. And I'm not looking at this thing as, a, as just a, a, oh, let's spill all of our dirt out on the stage. I feel like bar-wise, I... I feel like I would give you guys the greatest offer ever because mm-hmm. this means something to me. A lot of the battles I took, it, it was it was me wanting to propel the culture and kind of show people, like, look, this is the way that we should go. Everybody's sitting around bitching about, oh, we're not getting money. We're not doing this. Well, work, motherfuckers. Work. Stop being lazy. Stop stop thinking that these leaks can dictate when and and how you should eat. Work. And you look at everybody now. Everybody's in a better position now. Everybody. People are getting booked all over the world. I got stamps in my passport. Arsenal can't say shit to me no more. You feel me? So, I mean, with with some of man is one, some of man is two. It, some man is three. It's like a movie. There's a, yeah. You can shoot a movie behind this shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I, would, I, I respect Mook and everything that he, he's done up until now, except for the quitting. And being one of the, the, the guys that carried it from that era to now, I just got a lot of things to get off my chest. That's all. Yeah. Sure. I think he these rounds are going to have like seven minutes. Seven minutes or something. Like, at that battle, when, in, when that battle happens, these rounds are going to have to be like seven, eight minutes. You still confident that battle will happen? Well, it, it's destiny. It's destiny. Mm-hmm. Down to the fucking syllables in our names. This shit is written. Yeah. Crazy. <clears throat> All right, um, let's take another call. Let's what up, go, uh, I kill surf. <laughs> I don't got a problem killing surf. Let's go. <laughs> six four six, you there? Yo. Yeah, what's good? What's going on, psycho. Forty, who you at, Jesse? <laughs> Jesse, put the phone down. <laughs> uh, no, Nate, we at? We all at? Y'all not there? What up, my nigga? Nah, we here, man. I'm here. What's up, man? What's yeah, good? Yeah, what up? What up, man? Who is? Who is? I, I, don't, up, know, bro? I don't do 646. We don't do numbers. We do names on here. What up, 646? Who is this? 
Well, this this is the Oscar Schmidt guy. What up? Uh, what's up, man? Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, what up? What's good? Yo, Matt. What's good? Yeah, I've been a, been a fan since I was a shorty watching Rap War 1, sneaking watching it, wasn't supposed to, but that was my thing. Wow. Wow. Thank that you, That was my bro. thing. Thank you. <laughs> now, thank you, dude. Now, thank you, man. You made me appreciate my name, though. Real, real talk. When I saw the credits at the end, I was young, like, man, I hate my name. I see this trash <laughs> dude with bars destroying cats. I'm like, yo, he got the same name as me. Ever since then, I was embracing my shit. <laughs> yeah, but nah, that's what's up. That's nah, what's up, man. That's what's up. Nah, sir, that's that's real talk, though. But seriously, um, I don't like Hoffa. I like. I want you to go back to math or Deepon. Like, you know what I mean? Hoffa is when you battle Calico. Math is when you battle D Benz. You know what I mean? Like, you see the difference? Or Deepon? Yeah. Like, back at Rapper One, yeah, destroying everyone. I, I can't. I can't go back, bro. I think my next step is I'm gonna just change my name to Hoffa Luya. And I'm going to wear white every battle. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Touching on what you said, Matt. You said, yo, if I gave a speech about wearing condoms and I slip up, as opposed to a brother speaking eloquently about penetrating vagina raw, I would still go with you. Once you say, once you say, well, you have sex with this woman and she's dirty, your dick falls off. That kills everything that this eloquent, articulate speaker got to say. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Once you say that... There has to be a a point where you measure what's actually being said. You know what I mean? Otherwise, Arsenal has never lost a battle. (laughs) (laughs) If you don't give a fuck what's being said and you just care about how a motherfucker's rapping and if he's a a rapidly rap nigga, Arsenal has never lost a battle. <laughs> nah, well, well, yo, we know that is, so exactly, exactly. As far as this Ebro situation, though, and then people then start rocking with Power One Hundred Five. I mean, excuse me, with High Ninety Seven. They switched over. We, they made the switch to Power One Hundred Five. I think you know hip hop was on a decline ever since. To me, mm-hmm. or to me, ever since people allowed fucking Nelly to battle Karis One, and uh, no, it was like no backlash. Yeah. You know, like now it is. You know, toward Nelly. Mm-hmm. That's to me, but, and uh, you know that opened I mean, the floodgates. For yo, yo, you I, ha- check it out. I have nothing against Hot ninety seven because they actually took the time to sit down and do a story with me and all. Uh, well, an uh, interview with me and T Rex. Yeah. Um, Rosen, Peter, Peter Rose, Rosenberg, and Fight the Sound. Uh, Peter Rosenberg was so out of touch. With, so out of touch with battle rap. I didn't want to talk about him. <laughs> it's the kind I can't of say that because I've seen him at numerous events. He hosted one of my no, battles. No, 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 no. Of course, he's doing that now because he said, he said um, publicly, oh, now that battle rap is hot again. When, when was battle rap not hot? Before Peter Rosenberg, there was Blaze Battle. People don't even know Blaze Battle or the Rap Olympics. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, bro, but it, it's, on a, it's on a higher level now. It's okay, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm There's saying. There's these Blaze Battles and all that shit. They, they were, well, Blaze Battle, those were like one MTV Blaze Battle and, and all that shit. That, yeah. Blaze Battle was on HBO, man. Okay, yeah, HBO. Now, that's HBO doing that shit. HBO's not doing this shit now, and it's big. This is different. That's, nah, there was that's too much fighting different. going on that night. <laughs> they got completely turned off. Like, I was there. There was mad fighting and shit going on. It was like, it's the last time we doing this. Now, I'm just saying, though, yeah. for, for Ebro to make that comment, I'm not surprised because, like I said, the, uh, Nelly opened the floodgates by dissing Karis one to me. After that... It was a bunch of fuckery, but the other, another thing that stuck out in my mind was when Soldier Boy and um, when he was getting that IT for IT's comments towards him, and it was like everybody was getting on IT. Well, all the people that don't understand hip hop was getting on IT, you know, for uh, making those comments to this young boy. Mm-hmm. Me on the other hand, I was riding with <laughs> IT. Hey, but like, hey, this shit is to be honest, bro, you can't, you can't, you can't knock any of that because for one, I credit Nelly for even. Had taken on a lyrical approach to a battle with KRS One. Nah, he could have brushed it no off and way. said, "Look, man, I just went diamond. What the fuck am I talking to KRS One for?" You feel me? But he mm, decided, I "I'm going to go on wax, and I'm going to actually record something. I'm going to do it the hip hop way." And it actually, whether whether or not um, 
it was right for him to, 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 to say or even think that he could battle with KRS-One. Now he introduced a lot of people to KRS-One in doing that also. Okay. But at the same a generation time. that didn't know who KRS-One was was forced to look and him up and generation? figure out why now he is taking the time out to talk about him. Who was the generation? Are these people still tuned in to Karis One? Who is the generation you speak of? You got the generation that, you of Nelly fans. I don't, I don't think that anybody who was a Karis fan is a Nelly fan. Oh, of course you not. I'm definitely on this show right, right now who probably don't know who Karis One is. It's sad, but possibly true. Hold on, wait, like, what? What'd you don't say? be surprised, son. I, I, You'd be surprised, bro. Be fucking my head up. <laughs> He'd be like, I don't know you who that is. I listen to the show. Don't know. Don't know Chris. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. There's a couple that don't know who he is. Yeah, no, no, I don't call you guys got nothing, but we deal with a lot of new age. We deal with a lot of new age hip hop fans that don't do any history. Like yeah, to them, the people I to don't them, like, they don't, I don't go like no further back than Tupac. Tupac. And to them, then they they probably wasn't even alive when when he was still doing what he was doing. I mean, he no, probably wasn't no, even alive. No, bro, you don't understand. When some of these some of these fans grew up on Soldier Boy. Yeah, exactly. What? That's what I'm saying. You got you me? They were nine years old. old. They heard something wrong here right now. What do you mean? What do you mean? They turned 10. They got his album. They turned 12. They got his second album. They turned 14. Yeah. They're still following him. And they're watching Battle Rap. Yeah. And those are, the, those are the people that, those are the opinions that don't matter. And if they over here talking about Soldier Boy is, is God or Lil Wayne is, is the best rapper alive, like, those are, do those opinions matter? I mean, it, 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 whether it matters I, to you, that's the question. Yeah. That, that's the, the question, is, yeah, because everybody has yeah, the thing. Yeah. It, it, which ones it? hold more weight? And no, I wouldn't. I, I was, my, me personally, that person's opinion wouldn't hold with so much weight. That's just me, but, you know. I'm just saying. Like, well, yeah. is, is but but, but believe it, that is the majority. It's mm. changing, but that is the majority. The majority is what, like, like, like the majority uh, of, of 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 people who listen or pay attention to to, to hip hop right now, like, they're not up on everything that that, that happened in the past. Yeah, the, the, the generation that have, is growing up right now. They don't know none of that shit. That's yeah. not yeah. even the artists that are out right that now. Means. Music is so no, far removed from, uh, well, at least hip hop that is on. On the radio, the motor, the whatever—it's kind of—it's kind of far removed from what hip hop was. I know that's why we got mm-hmm. Trinidad James, we got Riff Raff and Lil B for that. And these people, Ebro, pushed these artists. Mm-hmm. Well, they're doing their jobs. Now, if you really want to get deep into it, there's a reason why a lot of these guys are selling, and the, the things that you and I would like to hear on the radio are not. It's all about business, bro. And if you're not selling something in your rhymes or you're not selling a lifestyle that, that generates the, some sort of stimulation in the economy, then most likely you're not going to be on Hot 97. You're not going to be on a lot of these radio stations. If you want to keep it 100, if you really want to get deep into it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So let's just appreciate what we have, battle rap, lyricism, you know what I mean? People that think when they listen to lyrics. Yeah. That's beautiful. All right. That's, uh, thanks for the call. Let's go. Um, 908, you there? Yo, Battle Rap Arena. What's good? What's good, son? What's up, what up? Dial, dial of the year, Matt. What's good with you, brother? What's good, bro? What's good? I appreciate that. What's good? Uh, no, I'm no doubt. Um, I mean, y'all pretty much talked that hero situation to death, so. I just got a few um, battle questions for you. Two, well, two is opponents. One, what is good with you and Sirius Jones, my man? Yo, Sirius Jones, I don't know if he had nightmares about me or, or what it is, but it just seems like he's, he, he wiggles away. Every time I try to get him for another battle, he just wiggles somehow. He's like, out of there. I don't know. What the yeah. fuck it is, bro? Like, I thought it was I sure. We were in the fight club years ago. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. We battled in the fight club. It was my first battle. He was on, I think, his, his fifth. 
for his, his battle run than he had. He used that multiple choice shit on me in a, in a, after three rounds. I felt like I whooped his ass the first three rounds. Yeah. I can tell the story right now. Like, the first thing I, you know, I was a knucklehead back then, so I saw the first battle, and they had these fight club towels, and they were throwing the towels at the niggas that was battling because they didn't like the battle. So niggas is rhyming in the towels, like smacking niggas in the back of the neck. I was a fan of that shit. So when I got up on stage, so they had it in like a, uh, they didn't have it in the regular fight club spot. They had it in another spot. I took the mic and I said, look, any one of you motherfuckers throw a towel up here, I'm going to jump in this crowd and I'm going to fuck you up. So I was trying to have some words with a couple of guys in the crowd, but that was it. First three rounds went, I was fucking him up. They decided they, they wanted us to go overtime. Now as I'm going into my overtime verse, the dudes that I had a problem with started yelling, making noise, like just being disrespectful. So I stopped and I addressed them. Started again, they did it again, I stopped, I addressed them. He took the mic from me and said, yo, you forfeited your door. You're supposed to be rapping for the judges. I'm like, if that's the case, tell these niggas to shut the fuck up. They gave it to, they gave it to Jones. He just said, hey, he freaked him to me. He said, oh, 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 that was it. They gave him the win. Yeah. I felt like I got robbed. But it was all good. Now, this rematch shit, I don't know. He's just fucking running. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. I think he really wants to battle John John. Get the fuck out of here. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I really believe that. He wants to battle John John. Yeah, Even though he's crazy. fighting like John John doesn't deserve it, I think he wants somebody that he has an angle on. And he knows if he steps in the ring with me now, I will rip his head the fuck off and toss that shit on the balcony. <laughs> mm. He doesn't have the bars to stand in the ring with me right now. He doesn't. He doesn't even understand the format anymore to stand in the ring with me right now. And I've done this eight times this year. So I got to jump on a lot of people. Yeah, you definitely should be warmed up by now. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, Let's go. Uh, I'm warmed up. <laughs> I'm warmed up. Let's, Let's go. go. Now I want... 917, you there? Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up, Battle Rap Arena? How y'all doing? Yo, what up? What's good? What's, what's up, up, man? This is Jacob from Bushwick, man. What's good, man? What, what it is? What it is? Did we lose him? Yo, what up, Carl? Yeah, we lost him. We lost right. Yo, shout out, go, uh, shout out to my nigga, uh, Zilla, man. I don't, I don't know if Zilla's on the line, but shout out to my nigga, Zilla, man. He's... That's the that's the graphic designer man that got that got battle tested looking so good in Straight Stunt Magazine, right. man. Uh, Artzilla, shout out to Artzilla. Yeah. That's my guy. Yeah, that's yeah, shout out to my yeah. bro, man, Artzilla, man. Look, that's what's up. Um, he was fun for putting that did. math article together. Hello. Yeah, what's good? Yo, what's good, everybody? What's good, Hopper? What's good? What's poppin'? Ain't nothing, man. There was that caller, man. Like I, I think he, four callers back or whatever. But he was saying Sir Three O. That caller, I feel like I feel like that nigga doesn't believe anything he says. I feel like he just uh -huh. calls up here. I feel like he just wants to be opposite man all the time because the stuff <laughs> that he's saying doesn't even make sense. Because all right, uh, I might be the youngest, you know, I'm one of one of the youngest, you know, callers and shit. But like for you to sit there and be like. Oh, I hate hip hop and things like that. Like my nigga, don't you remember? Like, don't you remember when the when the Rockheads, you know, when like the Beatles fans was looking at um, fucking N.W.A. or what is this rap music? That's that's our holy ground. Mm. 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 That's real. Mm. You should have called up when he was up here, bro. He couldn't get on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I mean, it's it, 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 it's crazy, man. I mean, some people just they just love to hate. You know, Sir did not three zero. You know, Hollow. Um, his bars were not better than Hollow's, and I feel like he just had a lot. He, he, he you know, just the people just have a lot to say, and sometimes they just need to, you know, instead of just you know saying what they want, you know, they they, they need to say the truth. And I don't know about. I think Smack needs to really. 
you know, reevaluate things, try to find a better way to, I guess, to get people situated because that was the only time in any mm -hmm. event where I actually feel like there was something that was truly biased. Like, that was, the server hollow battle was really lopsided. Like, for hey, real. Yo, you ever saw, you ever saw Matt Palmer versus Calico? Yeah. That was some bias. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know what you're talking about with the bias. Yeah, that shit is crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy. But it is you, crazy. Can't, you, can't, you can't stop people from buying tickets. And it's, yeah, I was about to say, how do you prevent people from buying it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't it, say I wanted people to like, buy like, tickets. You can't call somebody out. Like, the guy that, if, if it was possible, the guy that screamed, oh, my God, when Surf said the Durango shit before he slowed it down. Because nobody knew what the fuck it meant until he slowed it down. So if yeah. whoever screamed, oh, my God, there should have been, like, a flag throw. You. That's not Get even body. that's Get not out. even my problem. <laughs> my problem is, and another thing, you know, a couple of weeks ago, it was the question, what do you think is ruining the culture, if you think anything is ruining it, and people, you know, made an argument against daylight. That's not ruining daylight. What's ruining daylight is people at the events. I don't think people understand, like, when you add an event, the aura is different. The energy is way different. People are going on Twitter like, five minutes after the battle that they just saw, that they just witnessed in person, and given, like, definitive, like, oh, yeah, this man got killed, this, that man got killed. I knew from the jump that even if Surf did win, it wasn't going to be how people were depicting it on Twitter. Like, like for four days, it was a, oh, I hate hollow, like, charade. Like, well, are, people, are people serious? Like, y'all was going on a witch hunt for hollow, making up fake quotes, talking about he said... All this, you know, oh, I've been you know, for like he lost. Said, it's nigga not went true. On a witch hunt for Hollow. Like, for <laughs> real. Like, they did the same thing a with B Magic. Hunt. Remember, they was like, yo, Tay Rock killed B Magic. Are you cool? Are you what? Like, did you see that battle? Like, how did you give K Rock a round? That's just real say, bro, rap. Is, is be there lives and, and contest some of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because. Yeah. I mean, especially like I, I, like that one with Dot Mob members, that shit goes down like immediately, like right after you battle them. Like you're on Twitter, it's like twenty motherfuckers from Harlem just tweeting, "Oh, it's a body bag!" Oh, every round, like, oh my god! Like, come on, bro! Like you can't stop that shit. People are gonna be biased. Absolutely, it's just what it is. You know what I mean? But yeah. the only thing that you can do is follow the barcode. And see what it actually actually is. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna introduce the yeah. code in like a day or two, just so that it can be like some sort of scoring system for this shit. Wait till so you it. actually see the battle before you judge it. That's, that's what I tell everybody. Yeah, that's another thing. That's another thing. Cause you know what? Um, when I battled Hitman Holler, I, I, regardless of how anybody feels about this shit, I feel like I beat him two one. I feel like he had a lot of enthusiasts in the front row who just decided that they were going to ruin the battle for me, and they started running their mouths. There were people on stage joking and laughing and walking back and forth while I was performing. All types of stupid shit was going on. But I feel like I beat them 2-1. Now, when I see some of my peers go go on and, you know, tweet that, that it's definitely this or this is what happened, like, it is disturbing, but everybody's entitled to their own opinion, bro. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is what it is. You just got to wait till people see the battle. And people who know bars or, you know, the, 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 the people who, whose opinions you can trust, you know, they'll, they'll let you know what it is, man. But biasness, that's never going to stop, man. Some people just prefer other people to others. They're fans, and to prove that they're fans, they, they show a little bit of bias, biasness towards their favorites. It's understandable. Yeah. Surf is one of the favorites. So... <laughs> It is what it is. I think what surf, the surf and hollow battle is more of a testimony of what happens when people haven't seen you in a long time. These fans kind of kind of move on. You think the expectations for hollow too high? You think like the fans put too much expectation on them because he was gone too so much long? of an expectation? And I think some of them just. You know, they 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 might have wanted him to battle a long time ago, and they just became fans of people who were battling while he wasn't. So, ma'am, I got a funny 
suggestion for the people that expected that high of him. I would love for y'all to write down what y'all believe he should have said instead of what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I challenge y'all to write down. I was talking to Nate. I think I was talking to I think I was talking to Nate about all this. Um, Definitely. I said, if people that, that's put this, this kind of expectation on how I feel like this person could have did better. How? Do you have yeah. bars for him? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you... Are you judging if people this? put this like, kind of expectation on Hallow, imagine what Lord Lux is going to have to go through next time he steps in the ring. Like, they they got Lux on his unworldly pedestal right now to where, like, I don't know how he's going to top anything he did in some madness, too. Like, how does he top that? Like, yo, man, uh, he, 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 uh, this is funny. They say that he's been out for two years, right? And uh, he got the battle two months ago, right? And this isn't about just writing random bars because you have no idea who your opponent is while you're away. You only start mm-hmm. to prepare, like you said, you start to prepare the week of, correct? Mm-hmm. So you know who your opponent mm-hmm. is and you want it to be fresh, so you prepare the week of. Now, mm-hmm. when you prepare for your battle, you prepare for your opponent because this is a different time. You have the mm-hmm. opportunity to prepare for your opponent. We, we, they distinguish the difference between now and and then, this isn't the Smack DVD era where he had two years to prepare to come back and do what they did in the Smack DVD era. He had yeah. two years to write bars, but not to prepare for a particular opponent. In this sport, mm-hmm. you have the luxury of knowing who you're battling. Now, you have to create angles for the opponent in front of you, mm-hmm. which is what people like you do. Every battler that you battle... Did you not take a different approach to each battler? Like, for instance, of course, Shilla is, is, is a team I mean, guy. I, I, I can't speak for everybody. No, no, absolutely, no, absolutely. Because I was about to use the example of Shilla Jones' schemes that could be used against anyone. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, 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 B-Magic is punches. That could be used against anyone. You said Big K mm. earlier. He's punch heavy every two to four bars. He doesn't use any personals. So... They don't particularly have to use angles against certain opponents because if you listen to some of their battles, you could take the, away their opponent, substitute it with another opponent, and those bars would have still worked against that other opponent because the angles yeah, weren't know. directly, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, for that particular opponent. It's not opponent. personalized for that it's not per- person. It's, exactly. It's not tailor fit for that. You, hollow, surf, certain ones, you know what I'm saying, hit, um, hitman, verb, like certain ones, Chill, I don't want to leave nobody out, but certain ones tailor their their bars, you know what I'm saying, and write their bars tailored for their opponent. Specifically. You know what I mean? Specifically. Specifically. So really, he didn't have two yeah. years for that. He had two <laughs> months for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And who's to say he used the entire two months to actually write? Who's to say he did that? But to be honest, I don't think it's a question of time because... If you're going like, to equate time yeah. to the quality of his yeah. bars, I still feel like he had high-quality bars. Yeah. The Gensu line was genius. The cap the, cap the leader, that was that was crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he had a And not only that, but a lot of his bars were structured for Sue Surf. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Matt, you got anything like you want to promote anything before bar. we get out? You got anything you want to promote um, anything before we get out of here? Yeah, the barcode coming soon. We can all sit down and judge these battles together, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and see what we come up with. There's definitely going to be a new scoring system for these unjudged battles so that we can get rid of this biased opinion shit. Like, there has to be some sort of rule. we got to write the rules on, on, on so that we can keep this culture what it is, and that's a, a, a battle of, of two lyricists. Not a battle of favorites. Not a battle of who got the most Twitter followers. Not a battle of of, of who dresses the best. Or a battle of lyrics. Let's mm. keep it that. All right. Yeah. That's what's up. Um, shout out to Twitter and all that. Uh, at Mass Hassa. Hit me on um uh, Instagram. Hassa Do not follow. The Mass Hustle on Instagram, that is not me. I don't know what <laughs> that is. 
He's a weirdo. <laughs> he stuff, crazy shit. Like, do not follow that shit. Please. Please. Oh, man. He wants to know what it feels like. Now he wants to know what it feels like, man. <laughs> and then what's the life that follows, too? Like, there are people following him despite... This, uh, I got to say shout-out to my fans because I know most all of those people are my fans who are really following him. Exactly. And they're going to follow me to, despite the disgusting shit that he puts up there. Like, you got to really love me. But that's not me, man. That's not me. You <laughs> know, <laughs> the hallelujah shit, all right? Yo, y'all y'all already know issue number 27, Straight Stunting Magazine, is out right now. Battle tested. I got Tsunami Surf. I got Hollow the Dawn. I got... All the women y'all want to see on every page before them, every page after them. Straight Time right. Magazine, issue 27 in stores right now. Battle Rap Arena, Math Hoffa, Hip Hop Psycho, Jesse Reekin, 40 Ounce, and Norbs for his um, short brief um, um, presence. You know, he, 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 graced, <laughs> he, graced the, he graced the day with his short brief presence, man. And the whole Battle Rap arena fan base. You know what they say, Hip Hop Psycho? Take us out. <laughs> All right. URL's Battle Rap Arena. Check us out tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks again to Mav and Nate from Straight Study Magazine for coming and on the show bro. tonight. Shout out to Ebro, Hot 97. What up, bro? We going we gonna to get that shit down, my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Shout, shout out, out to Kevin to Durant, too. Shout out to Kevin yeah. Durant. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Durant and Ebro, too. We out. Schmidt! Schmidt! to be a great MC is just bringing something to the table that no one's seen before. You have to live this lifestyle. You have to train every day. You got to lock in with the bars. That's the training process. You got to go back and watch the game tapes. This is history, man. Um, this went from us battling in stores, the street corners. Now it's, it's to the point where people booking venues, you know, battlers are getting paid for, for, for battling just like an artist would get paid to perform in a concert. I stole my gift, man. I ain't... I wasn't giving this, I stole it. So I steal yours.